run it as is because we're so super cool and such. So, first and foremost, in terms of last week's business and everything that's going on first and foremost, for it, we have a week that's happened. So, I am going to ask all of my Aladrin, all two of you who are here right now, um... Melano Fane. Get from eventually. Uh Baralis, what season is it? Uh for me it's still winter. I tell you what, Ben, you sound awfully effeminate right now. Yep. Uh What were you asking me? Season. Um I don't know. I'm feeling kinda feeling kinda it's summer. Is oh. it because it's a nice blue sky outside? Yeah. Getting those was, vibes as well, and I looked at the fucking was, thermometer and it was zero degrees at 8am. I, I was fishing yesterday, so I'm in that mood. Yeah, I can hunt now. Zero degrees this morning, and then it's like 10 degrees at lunch, and I think that is a four hour time span. That is nuts. Yeah, but it, it's cold inside, and then you walk outside and it's roasting. It's like, ah. Let's see, um... Yep. It's Macro and Spectate, but not join, that's cool. Uh, secondly, and this is where shit gets fun... Did anyone get our... Inspiration? Mm, I don't think so. Sorry, what was that was the inspiration for? No, I said, did anyone get it? Get what? The song for the inspiration. Oh, is the song good? It is, as it states. Sleep sound on your beds tonight, for judgment falls upon you at first light. I am the hand of God, the dark messiah. Uh... This really this man is googling uh... it. I'm not, I can share my screen right now. I just <laughs> washed my hair. <laughs> uh, it? Germs and assorted worms. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Is it like called Dark Messiah, maybe? It was Disturbed the Vengeful One. I don't All know right. Oh, man. I should have known that. Oof. That's all right. There will be other chances. So, da 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 as it were, last we were here, the party had went about their business. Um, gotta read my fucking notes. I don't know what happened with my notes. <laughs> They're a mess. Oh, I need to take better notes. The party had, um, who in the fuck is that? That's my friend. Uh, let's see, the party had... Oh, they went some. Fuck me. Does anyone remember? I remember everything. Oh, then please take it away, because I have actually forgot my mind is a blank. Okay. So, we started in the, um... Not outpost, but the, um... The, the training camp for the, um... The Red Dragon Army. They had hobgoblins and humans. If I remember that correctly, but uh, soon after we did that, we had a little bit of downtime, I think a week or so, until we got our next mission. Um, our next mission was, there was an outpost, or there was a, um, a building, no, no, there were reports of um, dragon folk in the area, I believe, and we had to check to see if they were real or not. Because we honestly did not know. So we went to go investigate that. We found out that, yeah, it was real. And we reported back with the information that they had, um, I believe, an army at the outpost. Um, or we didn't go to the outpost itself. But we knew that we reported back the information that they had a lot of forces. Um, so we go back to town. I think we bought shit. Uh, we talked to, um, what's the name? D something? D, 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 D,
you know, the guy with the black hair. That's our buddy. Darren. That has the D. Darren, right. Um, <laughs> I was no idea we were going with that, mate. <laughs> yeah, so we talked to him. He took us to a meeting, or he was in the meeting. And this meeting was uh, from, you know, the, the higher up council or people. And they had uh, heard rumors of a dragon at the out. And that they were uh, taking residence there. And so we were given uh, time pre to prepare. A week, we were given battle schematics. Um, we were told to memorize hand signals so we could communicate effectively without using speech. Some of us did that. Some of us did not. Who knows? Anom uh, unanimously, I'm hoping 50% of us did not do it. But, um, <laughs> carrying <Wait>. on. <laughs> Am I... Wait, was I able to learn something over the break? Uh, I'm I was pretty, teaching somebody, but yeah, you were teaching also, I'm here heavy armor. Yeah, let's go. You were teaching heavy armor to. Oh, I actually have a separate sheet. Bryn was teaching Exodus heavy armor. That's uh, Exodus is ten weeks. Three weeks have elapsed in that time since. Um, that kind of seems to be the only thing is you can only learn and teach. Um, I th I'm not too sure whether or not Melano and Fane. We're still doing Celestial and Infernal. Mm -hmm. If I can, if I can do that and still look for what I'm looking for, that's fine. Oh wait, oh yeah, because oh. you were doing that. We can do that. So uh, Exodus, uh, Fane. Nope, Exodus. Exodus, uh, you were continuing as I grab my book. No, that that was that was it. Pretty right. much, we we, we show things. You made the outpost attack chat, and we got a plan. So I'm gonna put it to the party vote. Did anybody think that's worth inspiration? Anybody think he missed any key details, and he shouldn't get it? Or does anybody think that's a good enough fill? Whilst I look for the things I'm looking for in this book, discuss. I have, to be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about in, about the inspiration thing. Inspiration to re-roll or gain advantage on a single roll. I point. know what inspiration is, but why would we be given it? I give it as part of either getting the song. However, since no one got it this week, uh, okay, okay, I'm okay. saying, you know, does anyone feel that's worth it? We'll start. Hell yeah. For... One sec, let me look at what the... Uh, Good job. Everybody already knows the song out there. Oh, okay. <sighs> I don't even remember last session, so... Yeah, neither did I, which is really concerning. I think so I get it just for... In two weeks. And so I'm saying if, uh, if everyone feels that was a competent enough summarization... What did he, what did he say? I wasn't here for it. I did <laughs> You were here for how the did it, How did last session end? Same way everything <laughs> else ends. Uh, you've had... You're sitting down planning an attack on the outpost, which you can all see here. Um, I realise pinging on something so big is about as useful as an ashtray in a motorcycle. However, uh, on your splash screen there is the map of... The, the, the rough map that was drawn for use. And um, fuck me, was it rough. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Buying a magic item. Okay, so. Fane, since you are buying a magic item, could you do me the favor? Firstly, um, could you roll for me one persuasion check? It's coming, sir. One sec. I tried to log in. But then the login didn't log in, so... It has have been having some issues, it has been a bit slow and I do apologise. Uh, we didn't even get to play on fucking... Um, we didn't actually get to play on Friday there as a result. It was that mm. bad. So, as of right now, the website is loading. We'll, we'll see. The box is uh, You know where the lows is? The what? Is it, sir? 
Barbershop and the uh, um, let's see, and the uh, all those up in the American Best Buy. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Um, she's trying to get to the Walmart. Would this bus take her down that line? So, Finn, how much are you looking to spend? Because there's a, a chart here. How much are you looking to spend? Um, depends on what I'm getting. Is what I'm looking for going to be on that list that I sent you? Oh, I'm. That's all been wrapped into personal, my friend. Oh, okay. Um. So this is complete. Ra this is, oh, this is complete random. I realize you spend enough, you could get some something absolutely stupid, and I just need to sit here and agree with it. <clears throat> um. Maybe like five hundred gold. Five. <clears throat> Okay, so you're looking to spend a maximum of 500. Right. That's, yeah, that's the max. So that adds plus 5. Wait, do I have that? Yeah, I do. Are you in? He fairly. Is just sitting on 98, like a weirdo. Don't worry. Um, but, you... but I can, uh, but I can roll persuasion for you. Yeah. Please and thank you, sir. Okay. Sex. Okay. Uh, question. Yep. Am I able to re-roll that? I have a, I have an ability. <laughs> I would say you're using that for this entire session. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't roll persuasion a lot. Okay. That's, uh, let's do it. That's fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Um, technically, Max is to. We're gonna die. <laughs> technically, Max is over to that. So. What is gas control? You want a second? So, it marks to this, which is. That magic table, do I have that magic table, I wonder? Tables. Treasure. I don't want, I need to import this magic table and then roll on it four fucking times. Ah. Uh, this magic item table. Oh, is it even numbered? It's lettered because of course. <laughs> Can it make it fucking easy? Mm. Let's see. I roll on this four times. Now I, I want. I want to make you aware right now. This will be. Let's see. Is it so This is so fucked. Oh wait. Over a course of two weeks, I only get one thing. Yeah, you get an advantage on it though. Oh, okay, so, I got. Because it's, it's a D one hundred table. Gotcha. So, could you roll me a d100? Yes, sir. 1d100. And then, could you roll said d100 again? Oh, great on that advantage, gives us a 62. Just get 100 and get the right hand of Vecna. <laughs> and I will say, as your time. Throughout the two weeks, you are perusing around the city of Calaman, looking for all manner of items. You find a shady dealer who is willing to accommodate you in how things are. Roll a d12. Roll a d12. That's a d6. That's a d8. Do I not know what a d12 looks like? And I will say, because of this, I'll let you roll again. This is a... Roll a d12 again? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So. As the time comes by, you yourself, with your planning and such in the castle, with your grip, 
eventually comes in the post. Yes, they have a postal service here, Calaman Postal Service. <laughs> comes a box. As you the box is addressed to yourself, and as you open it up, take a little look, you find a potion in it. Rather clear liquid by all other standards. However, you have it on good authority from your newfound friend that um, it is very, very good. And I need to import it. Uh, I... Go. Do I have a description? Oh. As you kind of pour it around, you watch as the colour seems to change to a more iron like colour and it's as viscous as molasses so you know that drinking this thing is going to be a fucking challenge <laughs> however uh would you roll me an arcana check please i really wish i could but uh server cut out on me do you mm -hmm. have a do you have a dice d20 in hand i have uh online dice Roll your flat d20, so just roll a flat d20 for a moment. Gotcha. Flat d20, where are you? Bam, bam. No. You see, you're not going to believe this. Yeah. And I hate that I got that. You hate that you got what? It was a 20. 20? You know this is a portion yeah. of invulnerability. <laughs> this See, portion it. that you've spent... You got, you got a nat 20, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know this is a portion of invulnerability. You know that if you drink it for a minute... You're resistant to fucking everything. Absolutely Ooh. everything. Uh, you were res were you resistant to fire normally though? Because as soon as I imported it to your sheet, it was like, yeah, you're a you're, you're just boom. Were you already immune, um, invulnerable to fire, or is that a level six thing? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll work that one out as it is for everyone else. You just have this here. You know that you're. Did I? Yeah. How much did I spend? Did I spend my max? You spent 500 gold. For every 100 gold, you get a plus one to the roll. Okay. So, 500 gold got you a portion of invulnerability, which is in that range of 101 to 500 gold. So. Yeah. Good roll. Hmm. If it were the lower roll, it'd be horrible. <laughs> yeah. Suzanne, looking at all of this, you have these details here. Well, see, that is your whole week gone by there. Does anyone else wish to do anything within the week? I would probably do the four healing potions I'm able to do. Yeah, uh, for that special. Bark off 100 gold and add 4 to your sheet. Okay. I mean, um, Fane gave me 10 platinum pieces. Yes, I did. So, four, so I can make 4 for like four, and give it to everyone. Yeah. Okay. We'll see another um, Yeah. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. No, no, no. You, you first, man. You first, by all means. I, I was gonna say, um, for the personal quest stuff, do you want you said I could do that at any time? Do you want me to start that, or do you, you want can, me to wait? You can start that at any time. There is a week of downtime. You're you've learned armor, and you're learning armor in that time. There's nothing stopping you taking a walk around the city in that time. I was gonna say that whilst off on the horizon, as you are watching, you do see an oh too familiar sail coming into port. In the dead of night. This would be on the, say, the second day of these two weeks. 
I look um not scared per se, uh, but startled. Uh he knows who they are and uh, hasn't seen them in a very long time. And part of him is curious how they are doing, but part of him wants nothing to do with them. Uh, but certain ties drive him to return. He goes to approach the docks that night, uh, seeing if he can rejoice, or maybe make merry with his old crew. Then I will say, uh, no talk is worth the motor, I apologize, but in the dead of night, as you leave the castle, you, everyone seems to be okay. You know, as you walk through, no one seems to stop you. You seem to have free reign. As you walk through the quiet city, you don't hear you know, any distress or such, and the serene calmness is something that seems almost alien, given that just 12 miles outside the city walls, you know there are scouts ready and waiting to attack. As you get down to the docks, however, you see all manner of people and manner of <laughs> minotaur loading and unloading as numerous goods seem to be coming in and out of the city and it does you notice a familiar face or rather familiar beard by a set of docks he doesn't quite notice you as you watch as people are hefting boxes up and over. Just unloading all manner of various goods. Alright, um... So they're doing goods, you said? All manner of various goods coming off. It's a standard port, so you, you know... Whether mm. what's coming off is legal, illegal, or, you know, counterfeit, you're not too sure. But it's the dead of night. Alright, uh, he would approach and put on a, uh, just, just checking, my, how was my relationship with them? I know, I know we didn't talk about that, that too heavily. Mm. Uh, but did we end on good terms? Left them decent terms, yeah. He'd always call in a favor if needed, type terms. Ah, well, he would say in a scruffy, rough voice, Got anything good? So you, so yes, you watch this sort of middle aged man turns round as he does <laughs> thick, bushy beard that as the light seems to hit it, you see all manner of colors. None of them hair colored. He kind of turns to look. Oh, this is a coincidence. Didn't realize you'd taken to the city. How is it? Have to live somewhere. So, uh, it brings you this far north. You'd never believe it. I'm a hero. You're right. <laughs> I'd never no. believe it. <laughs> I, I work. I work for the, the city here. Um, I was in. Uh, I was visiting, uh, the city south of here, isn't it? Um, oh, silly, Vogabon. Vogler. Vogabon. Is something else. <laughs> Vogler. He says, I was in Vogler when I was attacked. Uh, we all fled here, and I was given uh, a chance to uh, work with my expertise on the dragon enemy. Fuck, I've only seen them a handful of times. 
I don't really know shit about them that much, but don't tell them that. He'd whistle and whisper and chuckle and nudge him a bit. Oh. Well. We found something quite far down that may pique your interest. Given you're now a hero, yours nondescript as most, but maybe this would give you an edge as he leans into one of the boxes and pulls out this rather long wooden charred box. The captain tried and he can't get a handle of it. Maybe you can. It seems the type of thing you would mess around with anyway. What is that, a char box you said? It's a charred up box. It's about maybe... Ah. I'd say the length of like a, a pool cue box, if you know what that mm. looks like. But all charred. Charred, yeah, like a map. Yeah. Charred, no, no. no. Burnt. Not like a map. No, no. Uh, like burnt, right? Yeah. Oh, charred. Uh, yeah. Um... He would look to take the box in his hands and say, I take it the burn marks are from you idiots trying to open it? No, it's from the temple we ransacked. Uh. You get up with your life every so often and... Well, like I said, the captain's tried to tame such a beast. Um... I guess it was in the temple for a reason, but we can't quite take it back now, can we? Did fugitives and all. <clears throat> How much do I owe you? Oh, please. This is the type of thing that you would have kept for yourself if you were here. We oh. just want rid of it at this point. We, we would pay you to take it off of us if you weren't going to take it normally, but we know this is your type of thing. Right, I do love charred boxes more than anything. You know me, and you would feel of the charred box, the, the, the creasing and crackling of the, the chart that's beneath his fingers. This is what he lives for now. Uh, <laughs> uh, he would go to open the box, if you can. Did you Take a peek. Creak, open the box. You see this rather long thin sword not so much a rapier not so much a long sword of pure black with sort of golden hints on the hilt and pommel it's um it's something i won't spoil the surprise but you still get well acquainted will ya it's beautiful. I know it's... I mean... I'm definitely taking it, thank you. Uh, will this surprise... hurt? In a bit? Only if you wanted to. Uh, okay. I'll... I'll take the crypt in this. And I'll... I'll you know what? Learn to love the mysteries. There we go. Same uh, thing you did to us, friend. Same thing you did to us. Not so much fun being on the other side of that cryptid messages, is it? No. No, it's not. But, uh, how's, how's the crew? You're shaking. You're shaking for certain. They've seen things. Um, they they think it's going to be safer up here, but from what you're saying, it's it's not safer up here. It may be safer out there. I'm just going to point off yonder to the sea in no particular direction. But, you know, there's no land in that direction. I mean... How long can you set voyage for? How, what your supplies? Uh, 
Skeleton crew, three weeks. We stock up here. Mm -hmm. We'll be here for a while anyway. It's not too safe right now, headed down south. Um, this is about as far north as we can go before we get to the wastelands. And I'd rather avoid that place at the moment. Mm, yeah, of course, of course. Um, it is getting late, however. Uh, tell me, I'll come back here another night and tell me which tavern you're staying at and the crew. It's been too long. Will do, friend. We'll be right here the entire time. Don't worry. <laughs> Save money. We may need it. All right. And if you know, if you're in the pinch for money in a bit and want to be able to set sail for a bit longer to uh, avoid any trouble brewing, all you need to do is ask. Same for you. You still have our favor with us, at least. You carry some, and I'm sure the captain will be thrilled to see you again. Need someone to uh keep some of the crew in shape. Or on edge. <laughs> um, oh, Seely, real quick. Oh wait, never mind. I I got the I got the thing wrong. Um, all right. I will see you around. And then he would uh take the card box and go to take his leave. He plans on talking uh to someone in the party about it when he gets back. Well, Ta -ta. tomorrow morning. Ta ta for now. Ta -ta. Yeah. And you would like wiggle his fingers. Yeah. Gives it back and strokes the multicolored beard before gonna turn him round and like a snap turns to more of a taskmaster than a friend. You hear him bark and orders at other people. As you walk through the town, you feel heavy something weighing not the box in terms of weight but you feel a I say spiritual weight in regards to it like a, like a depression you know when you're really depressed and you just kind of feel slow you just kind of feel that you mm. he struggles for a moment feeling a weight near his heart in his chest that he hasn't felt before um sort of taking a moment and then glancing to the charred box like is this you and then continuing so you head on out back towards the castle to potentially end this night no but again there's no issue Alman having a city guard seems almost pointless as nothing seems to happen in the nights that you have been here. Even the castle is quiet and barely lit as you make your way back to the castle and into your dormitory for a night. The next day rolls round. You said you wished to speak to someone. Yeah, um, I don't know if I've seen anyone in the party use Identify, but I think I've seen someone use Detect Magic, though. Um, I guess as the party, as a group, um, I assume we're potentially meeting for breakfast, maybe? Or if we eat together at some point in the day? Meeting for breakfast and the, uh, and the barrack is used awake, uh, Okay, so I, I would say, for the most part, Bryn is just lingering round like a fart in a trance. As, <laughs> as for everyone else, uh, I would say Renard has made a habit of going to the barracks and eating. Um, and, you know, people can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Fane would be doing monk shit in the courtyard because you gotta be zen as fuck, yo. 
uh, Boralus would be trying to hit targets in the courtyard because Boralus has no luck in hitting things. And Melano would probably be making her way to Wind Shop daily in order to make potions. At any point, you can correct me if I was wrong. No, that's right. No, that's... Like trying to learn as much as possible and help as much as possible with the influx of sort of. It's a fucking refugees. nat twenty in that insight. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say for certain you know then that Bryn, Boralus, Renard, and Fane are all at the castle on the most part, training up for the upcoming assault. Mm. You say uh, roll insight? No, or... I, I, I rolled a good insight there. <laughs> IRL. Ah. Alright, well, um... I would check with the people to have um, the medium armor delivered to my room before the uh, castle, I mean, before the stakeout. I'm not sure who we would talk to if there's a quartermaster. I mean, that's outside the town. Quartermaster, I mean, that's, shit, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, that's in the town, I forgot. Um... You go to meet them in the training room. Let's see what they're doing. Uh, and in the let's... training room, I would say you would find. I'd, I'd say, given early enough, you would probably find Boralus. I'm not sure where Renard would be at the castle at any given time. I think someone said something about a library at some point. Two weeks, guys. I need refreshers here. Oh. oh. We, I mean, you. Uh, I posted the session seven in the notes session, um, section. So. Uh, I think you. Uh, one of you was going to heal. Renard. Becklin. Renard was taken back and forth healing Becklin, Yeah. But I yeah. Would, I would say by sort of the third or fourth day, just for yourself, she has. Up and on her feet shakily, as she has spent also, an awful lot of time in bed, bed rest. Talk with Kajal and introducing her to and her company to the leaders of Kalaman so they can find more work. Happened at the end of the session. Which is yeah. Okay. Um... What I'm going to say here, Exodus, is pick a party member. <laughs> <laughs> pick right. someone you think. Uh... I don't know who's magic in the party besides uh, Reynard. So I guess I'll go to Reynard. Yep. Hello, Exodus. What can I do for you? <laughs> oh, uh, didn't see you there, uh, but I was looking for you. Um, he would have this charred wooden box in his hands, about the size of it. Who oh, cute. Well. It says uh, a quarter staff, we'll see. A quarter staff. Uh, uh, a very good box. But <laughs> what's in it? And you would open up the lid. Oh my god, I forgot to ask what temple this was from. Shit. Do you, do you know anything about this? And, you know, now that uh, he's taking, now that it's light outside, he would take a look at it too. Um, uh, do you have any magic that could discern what this is, or? Um, I have the ability to detect if it's magical or not. However, I will say I just know. in this time, because we're not really doing anything, you can technically have any spell prepared that day, just because it's okay. a, a rundown of two weeks and about half an hour. Um, yeah, I could I could uh, cast a spell to detect if it's a magical item, and uh, if it has any evil or good uh, bent, as it were. Right. You wish right. to know more about it? Of course. So, yeah, yeah, I got this from a uh, a friend. A friend. Yeah. I'll be be glad to help you out. Uh, so I would detect. Pass the detect magic on the item. Yeah, I'm just taking the detect magic. Yes, you take the time to you know give that a run through. 
You detect a dark, necrotic magic emanating from the sword. So I think mm. I'm looking at the rest of this to see. Um, Get a dark uh, uh, owl on my face. This look of distaste. That's uh, uh, school. Uh, I'd say is that. I'd say necromancy potentially for the school. Uh, if that's what it means there. If not, whatever the closest one would be. Uh, he clicks that I have just pulled off skills. Yeah, necromancy. That is an exact skill. So you detect necroman, necromatic evil, necromatic magic. Yeah, necromancy is always evil, guys. Um, I thought he was he using was... identify, not detect magic. I don't have identify. I thought I thought it's a cleric spell or paladin spell. Mm -hmm. Wizards. No way. Yep. Is it only wizard? Unless Death. you take a an, uh, magic initiative or like certain subclasses, I think, oh, sort, like artificer, and uh, only those get get um, identify as a spell. Right. Seeing the the squinch in the nose and the the general thoughts about the weapon, he would say, uh, "Sorry about that. I thought you would." Uh, Smelled that. No. Oh, smelled that? No, my features? Yeah, I should have. Oh, define sense. I would have to actively engage define sense. That's what I mean. No, no, no. I, uh. When you, you startled me, I kind of farted. You <laughs> 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 saw that coming. I was going to, I was going to say that, but uh, whatever magic is imbued now, oh, it is necrotic of a necromantic, distasteful to my <coughs> person, evil. Necromancy is always a bad thing. I don't know what you intend to use that item for, but I shall know. I shall not come in contact with it again. Alright. And you would take the sword out, you would look at it, and then look at his own sword. And you would take out his own sword and see if it could fit in his sheath. It is a rapier sheath, so it's not perfect, I imagine. Also, as you take the sword and lift it out, it is the lightest thing you have ever held in your hands. It's sturdy. As you take it out, there is no flex. This holds itself true and firm. But even the rapier, as light as a rapier is, this has no parallel. This is in a league of its own in terms of just how light it is. As you do try to put it in the sheath, you feel that it doesn't quite fit. It's not as thin and pointed as a rapier. It does have a flat edge as opposed to a rounded edge. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, you say thank you and uh, oh, Celia, I'm taking up too much time for the session. Uh, I'd just like it to be said that he would attune to it and I would like to acquire a sheath. Yep. Um, but that's, I like to move on because I've been uh, taking up too much time. And we'll see then. Uh, do you attune to it immediately, or do you maybe do it overnight, just so I know? Um, let's say, uh, you do it midday, about after he gets the sheath for it. Um, he would do it, uh, in the castle. Um, yep. ideally, someone around, uh, or at least someone within shouting distance in case something goes wrong, but he's not I'm he's not going to eat someone out I'll say if you sit down with this long black sword to attune to it the time it takes to attune it seems quite quick and as you 
place your hand on the sword once more. You watch it, it seems to and just come down instantly, keeping the same colours and striations, but changes from a sword to a dagger. As you feel this rather odd aura about you, as you hold this dagger in hand, with it, feel a weight around your neck. I have added the sword, the thing to your sheet, and I will pop the attune to it. Uh, you have one nice dagger in hand. And as you are, feeling around with it. Like I said, almost as light as a balisong. You feel you could do carnival tricks with this. Ooh. He would do some. He would play with it a bit, flip it around in his hands, uh, just to test it out, balance it on a finger, you know, all that. Um, he would be happy with it, and he hopes that it will be beneficial in the fight. And the weight around his neck, though, is alarming, but We'll see where it goes. Well, is anyone else doing anything else with their downtimes, or shall we time skip? Time skip! I do one thing. Yeah? Well, it's one thing. I'm tired of riding the nags that they have here around this castle. As we go out on our adventure, so I'm going to do a fine steed and get my own war horse. Can I, how long does those stick around? Ah! The until they die. Until, yeah, until they die. It's like a familiar. Uh, just until okay. they die. And then you can just do it all over again. Well, I'll use this spell one day to find a steed yep. appropriate for a knight of Salomnia. And... Yep. I will say, yep, that's all that time as well. As you cast your fine steed and it comes to you. It is a fine steed of Nice, almost splint armor. As you look at the design in the armor, there is very clearly a Salamnic motif where it seems almost like brambles and bushes with flowers, swords and crowns. And on the armor that would come down the horse's face, right at the very top, above the eyes, betwixt the ears, you just see a small sign of two distinct horns. It's almost a God-given steed. <laughs> almost? Nice. It'll say as we pull <coughs> things on throughout the night as it progresses. Everyone starts feeling <laughs> Things are going well. You just devise your plans based off of the schematics in front, day by day. Night by night, however, well, see, Exodus, you feel a hunger. You're not too sure what this hunger is, but you feel it. And it's, it's not nourishment or sustainment from food. There is a wanting hunger. As the time goes along, he's always, if you expended anything, go ahead and give yourself a long rest. Uh, if you will benefit from jigging up your spells and such, then uh, go ahead, prepare your spells. Um, bum, bum, bah, 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 bah. I guess today I am Bryn, the crazy kender who has three spell slots. <laughs> this is why we put our hot this is why we put our high stuff in charisma. <laughs> uh oh the worst part is is someone who I will just we'll use this one. As someone who plays cleric, there's some spells here I understand. <laughs> but yeah. As your 
days go along. So comes the day of the outpost attack. And with it, if I am not mistaken, uh, you wish to conduct this raid at night, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So don't worry about those hand signals, Tip. <laughs> you won't be able to see them anyway. <laughs> oh no, that's why we roll good in our perception checks, guys. Don't worry. No, it says <laughs> head on out. Darrett, Raven, and a company of other knights. You just head towards the border of the land of Eastweld. Some 24 miles southeast of the city. To this rather tall outpost. And you are aware that on all four corners of this outpost there are horns. Isn't there also a dragon around? So they say. Supposedly. Yeah. Is there any cover within uh, any what I trees, will say, bushes, anything? What Will says, yeah. You just get to a certain point by the outpost. As you can see here, we are using the official map as well, guys. You just Yay. get to a certain point within it. The thicket of trees on the lanes as you all sit and watch as the sun sets. He's scoped the area out, taking a look around. Now, give me a moment to quickly jump to the toilet. And in the meantime, uh, I'm going to ask, how long do you watch? He's, are there? The sun is still setting, though as dark, it's going to get a little darker soon. Uh, you have time to watch what happens, if you wish. I, however, have not been to the toilet since lunchtime. We're going to get, uh, see if we can spread out a little bit and get a good look at all, at least three sides. At least, and get a good look at all four corners. So if we get three sides, we should be able to get all four watchtowers. So mm -hmm. I get somebody to go north and somebody to go south so they can see those sides of the building. We can try to determine how many people we got in the towers looking. Close this. Okay. That's fun. <laughs> I mean, we have here today five. Technically, we as well. Six. Mm hmm. Phil party, Bryn is with you the entire time, but Bryn is giving you the thumbs up and smile and wave treatment. Alright, we get Boralus and Bryn to go beyond the south tower to see the south side of the building. So glad I left you the wind rose. Yeah. And get Exodus. And Fain to look at the north side of the building and see what we can see as far as the southeast and northeast towers. Okey doke. And wall, north and south walls. Can I run along here? Roll me a um, stealth check as I was shouting from the toilet numerous times. <laughs> I was just about... here. I would have uh, cast um, aid on Fane, oh, Exodus, and Reynard. If, if anyone was moving further, Fane has beelined directly to the wall within. A good. Like this. I think because it's white, mate. Well, um, it's just a little hard to see because it goes on to white. Uh, real All quick, right. you were saying there you gave who was it the aids? That's that's poor wording. Who did you give aid yeah. to? Fain Exodus Renard. Fain Exodus Renard. That's a plus five max. So, Athene, could I once more from yourself? Honey, get a stealth, and I'll also. Why am I just rolling straight sixes today? 
Yeah, I like it's the... probably something demonic. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Uh, last three sixes in a row. I don't like this. Cool. I will say, and your time here. Technically, yeah. you're twos. True. True. Let, me see, let me see if I have anything that I can re-roll that with. Nah, you used it. Uh, that was for Im intimidation and persuasion. Ah. I'm talking about my dexterity rolls in particular. So. Well, so I'll give you all the bigger, the big reader again, since these are here, and then the additional extra. So, as you sit huddled as a group in this tree line, Darrett and Raven and a small contingent of other Vogler forces. You see and... that the northern tower, northwestern tower rather, which would be this one here you can see, has a commanding view of everything that's going on, being the tallest tower. As you see on the roofs of at least this one here, given your distance, and from what you've been told, there are large horns on it. The amount of soldiers inside yourselves was unknown, but and while says use had been coming forth, in the distance, a squat stone fortress rises from a small patch of green before a rocky scrubland of Eastwild. Tall wooden gates are flanked by crenellated battlements and solid watchtowers. Torchlight shines through some of the windows, and every so often, you watch as armoured figures patrol the walls. I think thing is you come up. Trying to get a uh, reload. You on mobile or something? Or I it could hmm? also be it could also be me. That's uh, with all the reload you have to do. I have no idea. It could still be me. I'm, I'm still gonna say it could still be me. Yeah. So you kind of creep up to the walls. You can't hear man all manners of pardon me. You can't hear all you can hear all manner of hushed tones and whispers. Conversations aren't exactly riveting or insightful, however. They are mm. mundane. What did you have for breakfast? I had Weetabix, what about you? Porridge. Mm. Wait. Yeah. No. What? No. Am I able to move up this wall? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how exactly the mug movement thing works. It just says I can run across vertical surfaces. Link it. Link it. Fucking link it. <laughs> What's that? Fucking link it. Uh, now I gotta look for monk movement. One sec. I will say, for all of you off in the distance, um, you can tell that these walls are about 20 foot high. It is. And additional fortifications add about 10 foot to each floor. So, the wall, 20 foot. If it's a wall with a building, 30 foot. Features. The windows you can see are about six inch wide arrow slits so enough cover for someone with a bow and arrow or a crossbow to shoot out of but not enough for even Bryn to squeeze through given she would be the smallest so i think kender have a i think they're like maybe five foot or something they're halflings <coughs> Uh, what's the landscape like? Are there like any bushes or trees around or just plains? Apart from where you are, everything else is pretty much plains. The idea is mainly to see what's coming. Um, you are off and a bit of a brushing outpost, however. A, a, a brush out the ways. It's the main 
volley outwards for the most part is clear down both roads and a large clearing just in case something comes from a distance. Mm. So I would say use at the moment in your tree line are what we could be class basically heavily obscured if not invisible. Because if oh, there was uh, there were any items like stuff like bushes on the planes, I would have used my minor illusion to pretend to to sneak up within the illusion. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm set the public rule. That's bad for me. Uh, As he's looking that up, is anyone else doing anything at the moment? I wanted to ask. Um, yeah. Well. Just like recap, what was the plan? Do we have one? Don't think it's winging done. it. Um, don't think so. What's your favorite right. plan? Wing it. All right. Um, my favorite plan. Um, so um, I could maybe get to the gatehouse controls and open up the gates. Can you run like one up, run up walls? The gate controls on no, the inside. But I'm, I'm really, I'm really stealthy though. Yeah, I and see that by the roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't roll yet. <laughs> it's gonna. Oh, that was. Is Raven gonna place her hand on you and brings out the paper? Mm -hmm. The gate controls are on the inside. We can get up. Who all has Misty Step? Get up to the wall down by the southwest tower. There's stairs down into the courtyard. We have face up. Okay. Level three. Oh, only Bren doesn't. Only Bren. Okay. Okay. So, uh, it's knife level. At knife level, you gain the ability to move along vertical surfaces and across liquids on your turn without falling <laughs> during the move. Oh boy! <laughs> all you gotta do is channel your key into your feet. Yeah. All you gotta yeah. do is channel your key into your feet. Yeah, all I have to do is keep moving. But yeah, I just can narrow two runs wall. across the wall. <laughs> we can get up to one tower. Do we see the watch guards in the towers? You can see shadows of them for the most part. Um, that was the southwest tower. How far? How, how far up is this tower? Uh, tower is thirty foot. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah tower's thirty foot. So, uh, let me get you your cursory typey types. So, um... That's what we got from there. Uh, real quick, uh... Someone was seeing something else and I am an absolute idiot and completely forgot. I think it was you, John. How many, um... How many guards... Have we seen in this top tower in front of me here? That's what it was. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, so, John, you have seen a guard walking back and forth, and you've seen flickerings of lights and shadows in the building, and also the light being doused and sort of relit as if someone's walking in front of the source of flame. Um, mm -hmm. You can ascertain that if someone heard or saw anything, but you'd have heard it and you'd have seen more so i would say you're seeing you know an infrequent amount of flickering from the shadows on the northern and southern towers but you are seeing anywhere between one and two guards walking the post in a sort of routine i suppose is what i'm looking for Okay, I can, um, so, is it, so the post up top, is it like a window or is it an open, open like outing thing? It's a six inch wide window. Oh, okay. So it's not, so I can't get through that. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, uh, Bren even couldn't get through it, like I said. So my uh, initial thought was Misty step up. Onto the top of the tower, take out the guards using stunning strike. On top of the tower, you're not really seeing anything in that regard. Um, mainly yeah. because you, mainly because you are directly above it, uh, directly under it. Um, I was by, thinking more. 
I would say by all accounts, think... by all accounts, mm. you can face them onto the wall. Um, I think face step says you particularly need to see it. So, like, if you were hanging, you know, hanging and looking at the window, you could then face step into the room. Um, because I think it specifically says you need to see the area. Uh, it doesn't say anything yeah. about your feet or hands oh, being yeah. free. Yeah, I have to see the area. Um. Okay. Um. So you say so, there's two guards walking the wall, right? Yeah. The west wall. Yeah. If two. it's if it's no more than like three people, Fane can take them down. I can try and, to hold person on one when he gets to the south tower, and you can get the guy on the when he gets to the north tower. Mm-hmm. Where is that crudely drawn drawn map? <laughs> Mm. It's on the splash screen. Okay, um, one sec. I think I have it somewhere. Let me. Um, I'll just can you put it up on uh, general. Yep. No, I have it in my. Uh, notes. Yes, I yeah, I have it in my notes. So up there here, I would be on the north side of the tower. Uh, okay. She has it too. <laughs> Thematically, Mains looks better. So, True. if Fane gets up there, takes a right, it looks like, I can open the main gate for you all. At the, north, up. the north gate? The gate controls are on the outside of that hallway. I don't, I'm not sure where it connects to, but I'm assuming I can open the gate from there. How are you talking to us? Very fucking good mm -hmm. question. Can I have a yeah, spell that's check great. at this advantage? Of course. Yeah. I'm so glad someone brought that up because I forgot. Yeah, I could I can move back and talk to you all. Oh no, I've Would called that... for the roll. I'm sorry? I've Ooh. called for the roll. You called for what roll? Stealth. Are there deaths. any wizards or like within the army that we brought with us? No, it's or all someone with a... it's all Just archers warrior. and knights. Uh, no, okay. no wizards. You said what at this? Stealth. You, uh, I, I, I have an idea. I, I, I yeah. just imagine you're standing at the, that wall, kind of going like. <laughs> <laughs> I had the idea. I don't know if I wrote it. Down. I think I wrote it down. Like. That we could maybe buy a, if we could find that scroll of Rory's telepathic bond or something. Mm -hmm. If I was a. Uh, <clears throat> that's like an 8th level spell. Mm -hmm. mm. You know how expensive that would be. Even Fane don't got that money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <sighs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, speak of course, we supposed to get paid every. I even got it. Yeah, technically speaking, uh, five gold. So if you add that to your sheet, it's like twenty gold additional you've all got. Um, yeah, I will see. As you are doing this, you just watch. Fain, as you are given this, Bernard, you've been perceptive enough. You've been watching. You notice as. In the crisscrossing patterns, it slows down before eventually, on the battlements, you watch as two, the two men stop. And as they do, they seem to look over. The only thing keeping them with any form of illumination is the setting sun. As you watch as Silhouette's hand seems to rise above the sun into the dark cloud. As it does feign, you hear the opening of a door and a whistle into the courtyard. Oh. It does you then hear all manner of doors closing. You don't hear any verbal communication. Mm -hmm. Renard, you only see movements. 
eventually, however, as it were, you hear the chunking, ringing out this and something dragging to the south. As it does, you watch as from the south, you watch as round in the corner, two, four, six, eight, ten men with swords, shields, and armor with a very distinct logo. For you guys in the bushes. You make a stealth check with advantage as you are heavily obscured and the nightfall is working so much in your guys' favor right now. Um, let me try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, but else you have advantage on that. An 18 is good, but uh, hover over, hit the plus, and see if you get an entire. Hit over, over what I've already done with the plus. Hover over the 18, hit the plus. Oh. Oh. Everybody. That 18 yeah. really wants to stay there. Yeah. Uh, speaking of things that want to stay there, Ben, you're out in the open. I think you mm. know what I'm going to ask. Mm hmm. Another stealth check at disadvantage. Let me be in. There we go. This oh! <laughs> uh, advantage isn't even needed. Oh, you can't get no lower than that. Do you watch? As the guards all creep out. <clears throat> they all get net ones too. Oh no, they just rolled perception with advantage. I was not rolling perception ten times. Spread them out a bit. A nice fan pattern, we'll see. For this, as you watch as the guards all spread out, you notice that they are using very intricate hand signals for the most part. Nothing audible is being said. As they are. <laughs> This one turns to the back and raises up two fingers and really whips it round. He watches the two most from the back. Need to just nod and sheath their swords. As they do, they are looking round. As they do. Uh, insight check going for anyone that wishes to know roughly what's going on. Like, where are they located? On the tower or? Right here. Ah, okay. <laughs> you watch their exodus. As the guards all look around. He watches their head scans and seems to stop for a moment before turning again, before more intricate hand signals go up. As they look, watch as they all seem to turn around. As they do, he watches the leader places his sword back in. Looks around and turns to walk backwards 
So he does. He takes one step. You can tell by the body language. This is not a step to go backwards. So you can watch with every ounce of him, if the speed of a thousand men immediately turns and whips as he does towards Fane. You watch the javelin just fires through. Fane, javelin lands at your feet. You watch as he lifts his hand. You hear from up on high. Ah! Roll initiative. Well, in shit. Isn't that fun? Living in the real world. It's alright, you beat these guys before. I will say, for everyone who's hidden right now. Yeah, the distinctive logo. I'm curious about it. The Kisses logo. The Kisses what logo. the fuck? Uh, but I actually do have, I think I added it as part of one of my things, backstories. I mean, it is an item. God damn it. Religious talismans. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, as part of Bryn. Part of her backstory, there is something which has it. Um, Bryn. Bear. Yeah. Uh, Bibim. It's essentially that. That's the... It's okay. familiar. Let's see. Oh, I just need to roll our Bryn in. See, so did Bryn roll higher? My god. All the sixes. Well, Bryn goes first, okay. I am the Bryn. What did we do? What about the hell, Marilus? Yep, uh, you have an issue rolling yourself in there, mate? I don't know what we're supposed to do. That's right, I've no start of combat yet, so does that, yeah. Uh, right click your token, and then. Nice. Exodus, you also. Uh, it should be. Hold on. Import. I realise before we go ahead. Um... I can't give you armour that imposes disadvantage, is the only thing now. It needs to be medium. Breastplate? Armour. Yeah, medium armor breastplate. But does that impose was... disadvantage? No, it does not. Breastplate is the only medium armor, or the best medium armor that does not have disadvantage. That's why it's 400 G. Okay, I'll fire that on your sheet. Taking off the leather armor to give you that. Okay. I will say is this picks off as you watch is all sternly ready yourself since you're standing there exodus as you hold in your hand the dagger and just as you take point you immediately feel pulled down as the weight of this dagger requires you to hold it with two hands this thing is unwieldy like that you feel that hunger for blood seems to Come in, you crave violence. So we start off with a Bryn who will. Does she have 45 foot to actually attack that fucker? No, it's not. Um. Right. Uh, I'm going to play very fast and loose with this one. Bryn will move up to Boralis. If she does, she will take the longbow in your hand. And you watch as. Power runs through her up to the bow. She will cast a magic weapon on the bow, which will turn it into a plus one longbow. So a plus one to your attack and plus one to your damage. 
magic weapon on Barrowless's bow. I'll also burn that spell slot for myself and I will put it out there for you as well, Barrowless. And of course, just skip it to those reminders, people. And we go back to it. As a Dragon Army soldier at the back here, well, you can only see our poor boy Finn. We'll launch the Javelin. I think that there is actually a disadvantage though. Yeah, it's a disadvantage. I don't know why I dragged Fane though. So yeah. Is he is he launching a javelin at me? Yes. A fourteen misses. Mm-hmm. I was gonna ask you for a second, is that a missile? <laughs> Only if it hits. <laughs> you watch as he runs up Exodus. Alright. Um So I would like to I have to wield this with two hands. I feel the, the need for murder. Daggers are a thrown weapon? Mm hmm. Can I. <laughs> can I throw the dagger? I'm curious. You know what? Nah, I won't, I won't throw it. I'll just. Um, I'd say that's one of those things you got to try. Yeah. So that's 50 feet away, so I cannot get to him, but that's I could dash. dash. Yeah, I know what to do. Oh, wait a will... sec. I'm gonna quit because that's gonna fuck you over. There you go, my friend. Uh, it is now a dexterity based weapon rather than a strength based weapon. It's supposed to be a charisma based weapon. We'll get well, into I, that. I should have. I would have made it my charisma based weapon. We'll get into that. Okay. Um, and that place, I, I will use uh, 30 foot of movement to get out of cover here. Yeah, I will say you are still, until you attack, you are still hidden. You're doing oh. this all stealthily. Okay, then in that case, let me, I'll sneak a little bit over to the side here by uh, him, and then I would like to uh, bonus action cast Hex on this guy. Okay. Um, with the negative, oh, let me post it. With the negative yeah. ability for, yeah. Uh, figure out how would you like to cast it? Cast a level P one. I mean, I guess this is P one. Right. Uh, oh right. I would like to choose the ability score of Con. Con. Okay, and that gives them a what to their con? It gives them disadvantage. Disadvantage any Constitution based saves. Okay. Constitution base saves. Right, and right. also 1d6 necrotic. Uh, that's only one I hit. Yep, uh, yeah. which one you hexing? Uh, this one closest. Yep. Uh, let me go ahead. I don't think I've got one for hex here, but I do have. So all of a sudden they give me a shit ton of them. A, B, C, D, E, F, 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 F H. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll throw my little target on him. He's targeted. <laughs> yep. Alright, that'll be my turn. Yeah. Click it in turn. I got your number. Oh, bye bye. Right. This guy here will dash up to Fane, long sword in hand, just running as it were. Can't really do too much. Use his whole action. Melanie. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see what this can do. I'm gonna throw a fireball. Oh, I saw that coming a mile off. 27, oh. right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna run it in terms of rows. So, top. Fails. Middle. Fails. Back left. Fails. Oh, I got this this way. Back right. Fails. Man, these guys are not dexterous. <laughs> Fails. <laughs> not one of these guys passed. That's fucking horrendous. Holy shit. Because <laughs> 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 he does you once more hear the. But let's have a chorus. 
as it seems to delay as a second horn seems to have gone off to the east. Is there anything else for your turn? Um, I would like to make my way backwards a little. Like, yeah, th- more, like a few feet more into the woods or something. Up. Okay, this is one of those maps without it, so you are safe to do so. There is no fray <laughs> on this map. He's going to watch as the earth scorches as it comes back. There are nothing but dead bodies there. Just <laughs> charred up remains. Baralis. Uh, see where this pink line is? Is that all cover? Like, bushes and stuff, like where we are there now? Yeah, that's kind of where you are in that regard. And that was also the battle plan that was distinctly thrown out the window. Okay. Can I shoot from cover? Like, so yeah. stay hidden? You are completely hidden right now. As soon as you shoot, you are no longer hidden, but you will get advantage on the attack. So you get advantage and an extra one damage and an extra one to the roll. So you may hit. That Let's sounds so bad to say. Work out. 21. Okay, right. So at this point here, we are now crit fishing. Uh, <laughs> hover over that 21 and hit the plus to see if we get anything else. So you do 10 piercing damage because of that additional plus one right onto this guy here. I'm assuming he's gonna. As it pins as you eagle eyed from there. You now can make three attacks, all of which plus one, all of which advantage because it's your first turn and you are level five with extra attack. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna clean this up before Renard gets a chance to fight? I mean, if my bow likes me, then maybe. We will see. Oh, Let's see that one week worth of training. On a <laughs> plus again. <laughs> 20 for 4. And once more. Into the breach. It's a cold shift you do it, and it'll give me the automatic advantage. Eleven will miss, unfortunately. That's not bad, though. That's two out of three. <laughs> Does that include uh, how my first tur- my first was it first fight? Yep. I get a free turn. That's your dread ambusher. So you- your extra attack now gives you two attacks. Your dread ambusher gave you a third, and your hidden gave you the advantage. So that's me done, yeah. That's you, unless you wish to take any movement, at which you would have forty. You would no longer be in cover or hidden in that regard, but you can bust out into the breach if you wish. Nasty, bro. I'm all, that's it. I'll end it. Kill. A dragon army soldier. What one is it? I rolled a guy into an initiative who should not be an initiative. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Finn. Finn is going to hit this guy right in front of him. Yep. With um, oh, this is flavor from out in the backs as you are all taking it. You can watch as Raven and Dara are heads down, holding their eyes, just in pain of existence right now, as this stealth mission is no longer a stealth mission. 24 for 11 will hit as you break this up on a guy. My friend, fucking stop! (laughs) 8 misses, 24 for 11, 16 hits. You then flail wildly at a dead body. You get two attacks, correct? Yeah, I have two more attacks. And then, right, so, right, I need you to explain this one then, mate. I need you to explain this one. Two attacks because multi attack. Third attack Uh, because of your bonus action. Where is the other two coming from? Um, so, the first three yep. are my action. Why are, Flurry you, of... why are you making three as an action? No, no, no. The first one is a action. Okay. The second two yep. are Flurry of Blows. Okay. And the last two are multi-attack. You only get one extra attack, mate. Yeah, but bonus action can do um, an arm strike again, I think. Flurry of Blows yeah, specifically get... states two. Ah. Yeah. So, technically, the last one. technically the seven 
which you know working it in order the seven the you seven. cannot make but also it doesn't hit anyway so it does really nothing so like you've got your standard your eight for your first action your 24 is part of your extra attack and then your 16 and 13 as part of your um as part of your flurry of blows flurry of blows okay let me just use that key point monks man they're just they feel like the world owes them something <laughs> they just can't stop attacking no right <laughs> oh. however with your four attacks you do absolutely brutalize this oh. poor bastard beaten to a pummel as the other one kind of just stands there awkwardly looking doing anything else with your turn <laughs> No, that's all. Renard! Well, well, there's not a lot left to do. One, one guy, I guess, for now. So I'll move up 30, and I'll chuck this trident at him. Oh. Ever love him, trident. Range. <laughs> eh, fucking miss. You do have extra attack, um, and you have a spear. I have extra at that? Oh, I do, don't I? Yeah. And the spear. And this. You seem to throw off one and throw off the other. You watch as they seem to... Right in front of the guy. He just kind of cocks his head to look at you. Scared. You missed, but... He's just kind of watched all of his friends die in less than six seconds. <laughs> Didn't anything else your turn? <laughs> Um, b -b bonus? Ad? Nope, not right now. Bryn, well, I believe that's a concentration spell, so she can't do too much. Uh, yeah, and we'll see as you watch as Bryn kind of pulls this rather long cross, about the full size of her. She kind of pulls it back. She does. She also has extra attack, yeah. <laughs> and it fires both shots off. She watches both of them see and hit the wall to the side. They're equally missing. And she kind of looks up at Barrage. Drugs. Dragon Army Soldier. Now, looking around. He knows what Bane can do. Can he see you, is what I wonder, Exodus. Can he see you? Perception <laughs> check. Is he not going to attack me? <laughs> he cannot see Exodus. Yeah, he, he's watched you brutalize his friend. He's, he's, he's going to take the guy that's just walked out of the bushes. He fancies his chances there. <laughs> You watch as he comes running at yourself there, Renard. Long sword in hand, swinging wildly. A 23 for 7. The other one, miss. Exodus, you're going to watch as he runs, flailing wildly at Renard. Alright, um. I will finally get to attack. Because I thought this fight would have lasted a little bit longer, but they're still like. <laughs> <laughs> so did I, but fireball. Yeah. I'm a bad fireball in my uh, next campaign. <laughs> Joking. I move here. Not for advantage, just because. You already have advantage, you're heading. Alright. Um bonus action, I will switch over the um the hex. He has the hex one. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I will just attack. Let's see it. Do you have advantage? For first, let's go. Oh, is he gonna Take this dagger and stick it straight into his back. He seems to scream off. And then roll a sneak attack. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to... Is this the new acro? No, sneak attack. There we go. For an additional six. Do you want to watch as his back seems to arch? As you just gonna come out of the shadows with this dagger right in his back. He's kind of pulling it out and you start to feel satiated. Doing anything else mm. your time? Hello, Craven Badge. He's. Oh, fuck. Craven <laughs> 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 Hello. <laughs> Didn't realize that. 
you take the take the blade and look at him for a second, noting that he did not fall over. Um, he would actually not move like he normally would. He would not bonus action disengage. Actually, I can make an offhand attack as a bonus action. E hmm. With a weapon that's classed as light, however, given that this is a two-handed weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Alright, uh... I believe I'll, you could... could yeah. No. I believe you could I, uh, bonus action unarmed strike. Minimum of one damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll the do, kidneys. <laughs> I'll do bonus action unarmed strike one damage. What is that? Dexter uh, strength. 1d20, so the damage is strength, but it's 1, so it's going to be 1d20 plus proficiency plus dex, so 1d20 plus 4? Dex. I don't have proficiency in this. You always have proficiency in an arm strike. You do not. Yeah, you do, because you're good with your hands. No. Yes. No. Yes. Monks typically have proficiency in an arm strike. You can also get the feet brawler. Or tavern brawler that gives you proficiency in unarmed strike, but you do not at default oh. have proficiency. All right, then one d twenty plus one. Yeah, Let's see it. It has an advantage, so yeah. Sorry. Do it twice. Uh, oh, one d twenty plus one. Eighteen plus. Uh, I didn't. Hold on. Let's just see for crit fish. For that wow oh. really wants to be an 18 yeah yep, you... yep. I wonder. Just punch this guy in the back straight after it right in the wind you can almost ah. did it announce your turn yep no that's it yep fire over melanol i'll move closer so i can actually see what's going on target this guy target it and then i'm gonna just i guess i'm gonna moon fire him uh, da -da 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 these guys with their decks. Nine, does it? It sixteen meets it. You can it. down and nothing. Okay, that's me. I'm gonna hide behind Bryn. Uh, Exodus. Yes. Every, every character is proficient with an arm strike. So you gave me yeah, no, I just, I just what. yeah, no, I just looked it up. Sorry, I was about, just about to correct myself. Sorry about Sorry. that. I was confused about the martial arts bit. Yeah, they get a, a die for damage instead of doing straight strength. Yeah, I'll move it over to Morales. Oh, no longer hidden, but still get two attacks. Yep. Alright. 22 for 5 will hit. Uh, so 6, technically. Uh, nine for seven will miss, unfortunately. You gotta watch it. the next one's gonna passes the mark between Renard and the enemy, just almost grazing noses. Do you know that's your turn? No, that's fine. Yep. Exodus. Yeah. Roll a d6. Alright, I honestly also forgot. Yep, I've only um, just remembered have... myself for your hex. Not oh yeah, not only the hex. No, I already rolled the hex. You sure? Um, I, I yeah no, I forgot to do booming blade. Is what I forgot. No, I didn't roll the hex. You didn't roll the hex, so yeah. Uh, with it. No, no, I, I did. It was a uh, what's the one d den? I did. He, oh, yeah, no, I did not. Uh, yep. Sorry about that. One d six. It's five. That's right. I forgot about that, and it's a good thing I remembered. Uh, it does kind of. It takes a minute to come in as you watch it's up his back, just as it does. You watch as he ripples down. As you hear is another course of horns go off once more. As it does, you hear this creaking, this cracking, this crashing. As it does. From out in the distance, you watch as up in the sky from the fort itself. You see this 
As it does, I am now going to clear the battlefield. We are all going to re-roll back into initiative in a moment. Different number. I'm an idiot who's done this. I apologise. She watches this beast comes lumbering down between you. The hell is that? You watch this heavily armoured figure comes off. <laughs> so they will have her ways. And Soth shall have your eyes. Not played with one of these things before. Once more under the bridge. Just... Shit's gonna get real fun. Hey, uh, party members. E? Six again. Um, awesome. <laughs> Which one of which one of these two do you guys not want to get hit by? Both. No, you can only pick one. I'm sorry. <laughs> the big one, then I guess. Yeah, oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Understood. All right. Uh, let's see. Bralis, Britain, Melano, Exus, Fane, Renard. Okay. I will say for we got so for eight rounds. I'm gonna say. Eight more rounds, I believe. You have a magic weapon there. I'm going to double check it for you right now. Uh, one bonus. Uh, an hour! Even better. Uh, you have a magical weapon, Bralis, for until Bryn loses concentration. Speaking of Bralis, you are up as a beast down the jaws. <laughs> Looking around at you as the raider in full armor jumps down, sword in one hand. It's, Weighted up armored dragon in front of you. The rumors were true, Melanie watches. Everyone in the forest seems to be almost taken aback, stunned, as even Darrett looks. Almost PTSD Nam flashbacks in the eyes. Rallis, what are you doing? Okay. And then, can I cast Entangle oh. and, uh... Ah, oh, oh, oh. uh, that one. Oh, you go, man. What's that? If it's, gonna, if it's gonna ask you to place it down, you can place it down and we can move it. I have... I already know where you want to place it. So... Uh, so let's see, ground by down the wind to a square for points in range, duration, plants ground. <clears throat> a creature within the area must so uh, a creature. creature. Ah, any creature. So, I'm. Are you wanting to place it there specifically? Yeah, for the dragon. Okay. Well, say. Um, you're also going to get Exodus in this. <laughs> I will yeah, say. Can I wherever, change the range of the? Um, I think wherever you get it, you're either going to get yourself or an or Exodus. So a friendly Wait. is getting stuck in this. Wait, yeah, why? Moves it up. Wait, no, moves why? It up. You know, that doesn't work. Yeah, I can oh, no. pull it up. No, no. Can... There we go. Why can't it, the corner be here? Yeah, why can't the corner be here and it's stretched this way? Yeah. Because it needs to be a square. I, I moved it. I, yeah, no, I, I, I got that. My squares. I was misreading my squares. It's okay. I can bring it back in and it does not affect you or anyone. Sorry. <laughs> I misread fair. the four squares because I was dropped as a child. <laughs> it's okay. We all were. That's why we play D&D. The dragon saves as you watch, as its wings seem to... You watch the thing spread out as the armoured officer also seems to save. Ah, uh, there is no art for this guy like this. I'll give you this. Is there anything at the back of the book I can give you? So if there is, I'll happily give you it because he looks super cute in his little armour. Uh, that's this woman. Do I still have two actions? Uh, you... Two attacks. You've cast a spell, so that is your action. That's one. Yeah, but so I don't have the two actions anymore. When you no, when you cast a spell, casting a spell is uh, casting a spell action. So that's kind of all you can do there in regards to it. Um. So who failed? Who passed? I was. They both passed. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I have an image for it <laughs> either, which is like really annoying unfortunately because that's all I've got is that little thing and I don't even think that's how he looks I'll be honest with you I don't think he shows up in the book anywhere else 
and it'll happily show us Darrett for a hundred fucking times. Yeah, as you kind of do that, uh, as it's still class, it's not even classed as difficult terrain, unfortunately. Um, did you kind of prop that one up? You doing anything else your turn? No, that's it. Yeah. The brain will look as you watch as she once more. Pulls out to get a better scoping of the field. She can see that. There's no issue there. As you watch as she... I have like three sheets up. <laughs> as you watch as she fires two. Oh, that's a fucking nat 20. That hits. She fires it to the armoured fucker. And then fires second one. A six misses. You watch as the big armoured one standing there. Watch this out from his hands, up his back and down. You see a large lance. Yes, he does. He missed both times. Sorry. And Bryn hit um, once and Bryn hit nat 20, then missed. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very distracted. Watches it pulls out the lance and as it does, looks at the dragon, moves his head before walking round ever so slowly. As it does. I want to check something because this is something I probably should have checked. Um, you watch spinning the lance around. Baton comes to the other end. Of the dragon. He does looks at yourself and the armor. <laughs> Fun. So he watches. He immediately lunges forward and then back ends with the lance onto yourself. Both miss. Melano. Mm. Okay, let me see what I can do. Drifting foot cone. I'm not sure if this is this is gonna work. What I'm gonna try. You can bring out the the testing tool for it, like, like the actual cone thing itself, rather than casting the mm -hmm. spell and drag it out to what it needs to be, so that way you can see. Fifteen foot Tarks cone. Of a VTT. Um, let me see if I can move over here. Damn, I can. Ain't much. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. Yep. And cast color spray at second level. I'm mistaking color spray for that. No, no, I think it's the one. Uh, fire off. Is that the one for invisibility? Um, blindness. Ah. Something. Yeah, they're considered blind. Right, give me a sec. This is one of these fun ones. Dazzling layer flag color spring from your hand. Roll 6d10. The total is how many hit points the creatures can affect. Okay. Then, <coughs> as you fire this off, watch as the rider turns and looks at yourself spinning the lance in his hand as the dragon seems to creep under and you watch this. The eyes, draconic as they are. Your spell has had no effect. On either of them. On okay. either of them. Okay. Did anything else come? Yeah, I'm gonna... Face step the fuck away. And you were a winter. So, a uh, creature of your choice, you see some five foot of you. I think you've just done that from there. Was he within five? He was. He was with. No, he was he within was ten feet. Yeah. I was over here. I just wanted right. to get away from them. <laughs> I had to think there. Don't worry. So yeah, as you, oh, back in, you're gonna watch as Bryn's arm comes out. Do you anything else your turn? Oh well, my! I already have use action bonus action movement. I can't do anything else. So that's me. Exodus. 
I'm gonna fuck up this dragon, but it depends if I get a crit or not. That's the see, that's the that's what matters. Um Alright. I will attack um, just, a, just a reminder, you you can still move your bonus action as a hex yeah, to one of the that, things. I will move my bonus action hex to the dragon to I'm also thinking setting up Fen for the potential stunning strike. Nice. Uh, I will then attack. Uh, so I'm assuming that's hexed. Uh, which are you attacking? Our no, dragon's the only one there you can hit. What I'm saying. Um, Eighty, you don't have a. You don't have advantage on that. He's within five feet of Renard, though. No, Renard's within ten feet of him. There's a five foot of the wall dragon? between them. Of the dragon? Oh, I thought I thought it had to be of him. Um, if he's the creature, um, next no, to an enemy. Yep, it's on me, don't worry. Uh, 18 for 8, 9, 10, 11, 16. Did I announce your turn? He said, give me a second. Uh, no, it is your turn. Exodus, it's still your turn. I don't know where he's going to move to because I didn't see his mouse. Um, let's kill him. No, I'm doing it anyway. Move okay. to the dragon. Yeah? I'll move back, but i got to go do stuff real quick. Uh, I'll move you back 15 feet. Uh, moving... Uh, 30 foot back. Cool, That'll cool. be my turn. Got it. Oh, you got me Burger King for dinner? Okay. Just make me feel like more of a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mego. We got fat food. Just in time, because I'm about to make fat food. Did you watch as he... Good point. <laughs> <laughs> she watches he drags himself, flap its wings up five foot above, before immediately spinning and burling its way towards fame. John, you do not get an opportunity of attack. As it does, coming straight down, Fane, it seems to come in. As it does, it takes a swipe and miss. Fane, can I have from you a strength, or can I have a, a grapple? An anti-grapple. I'm just going to call it that. What would that be? Uh, dexterity, or athletics, or acrobatics, I think it is. You are grappled by this dragon owl. Because it does. It lifts you. What was that? It was a five. So it moved to 15. <laughs> 21 failed. <laughs> 15? Yeah, it rolled a 22. He only just failed. It lifts you up. 40 foot in the air. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank God we're all in Ladron Elf, right? Elves, <laughs> right? We can just face step away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you know it's a free action to drop someone? Mm -hmm. Just pointing that out. Yeah. Bane, I'm going to move it over to you. I am the wrong person to drop. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna... Can I still attack while grappled? Yeah, by all other accounts. Um, I think it's... I'm gonna check the condition. Does anybody have anything that grapples? Oh, but you don't have the... I was gonna actually throw the grapple tag on you and it should restrained. It didn't come mm -hmm. up this time. Um, I believe it's restrained. Attacks have disadvantage. Mm-hmm. I'll double check for you just now because you know straight I am. Um, well, it's not a rules lawyer. I like to keep these things up unless Melano beats me first. Restrain. I don't think melee gets disadvantage if they're restrained. Grapple, speed becomes zero, the condition, da da da. Um, 
yeah, so whilst grappled, you're fine. Uh, standard attacks both ways. Okay. Um, for for Strange, Strange Gotta target this guy. We're going, we're going down, buddy. Let's hope he fails, though. Um, we're going to... I think this one's... And this one's... Okay. Mm. Uh-huh. Does that hit? I said yes. Okay. Uh, and... Mm. I want you to think about that for a minute. Uh, he might fail. Realize you are in this thing's jaws, and if you go down, that is essentially a bite attack plus four d six. Just, just want to make oh, sure. Oh, I thought you, you said grappled. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know I was in his jaws. It doesn't I mean... have hands. <laughs> Defeat. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was grappling me with its feet. How else would okay. it land? Okay. Um. Also, at that point, at that point, there, you're still taking up. Crush. Like, I look, I'm looking at the picture. It does have hands. You... Well, Dana... uh, uh, let's uh, let's forget. That's feetsies. That is feet. Yeah. Yeah. No. For, for me, dragon grapples you. You're in its mouth. Mm -hmm. That way, if you ever come okay. against an actual dragon and it grapples you, it can't breath weapon. I'm very fair with that. Let's give myself that key point back. I feel like I'd spoil it though. This is not exactly a dragon. Alright, uh, let's get some more of those in, huh? Alright, um, I haven't taken that off, so you will quickly... bam Punch it in its face. I'm gonna punch it in its face again. These are all acid, by the way, acid damage. I love acid I'm damage. I'm one of them. Cool. 15 more miss. 18 more hit. Oh, why did I take that off you? Yeah, he took it off of us both. <laughs> I was did like, the what? ten come off? I think the ten come off as well. Dad, yeah, I'm so I'm so sorry, mate. Oh fuck! Did the ten come off as well. Uh, there we go. Uh, so you have a twenty-three for ten that hits, a eighteen for five that hits, a fifteen that misses, and you were were you bonus or flurry? No, that was that was just we'll call it that. That's my three attacks for this turn. Okay. Um. Bonus attack is an offhand. Yeah. So therefore, it misses. It missed anyway. Eighteen hit, but because it's an offhand attack, you lose proficiency bonus. So therefore, the eighteen becomes a fifteen and misses. Is that what extra attack is? No, extra attack gives you two attacks in one go. Yeah. And then but you're, you my make bonus, an, yeah, you your bonus attack, your offhand attack as a bonus, lacks proficiency. That would have been the 15. That would be the... That missed. Yeah, that would have been the 15 that missed anyway. The 18 is my extra attack. See, the, the 15 was my second attack. So it goes like action, bonus no, action, to extra me, attack. To me, because you're making the same action... Like you're doing the same thing three times. Action uh -huh. is the 23 and the 15. Bonus action is the 18. Because in this regard, most people do action, bonus action. Your action gives you two attacks, 23 and 15. Your bonus action gives you an 18 offhand is 13, uh, 15. Gotcha. Because why would you... Uh, uh, you know? Uh. Am I making sense to anyone else? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> yeah. pop, pop, pop. Uh, what you thinking? Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, if you count that extra attack is the same hand, and bonus action is the other hand, so right, left, right. See, the way it is because it's the same, the, because it's the same action and it's two attacks in the same action. I would see it like you know, left, left, haymaker. Right, right, left. Yeah, right, right, left. Yeah, okay. The flow of combat. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I've just watched too much boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I will fire over Renard. He watches this man or woman in armor spinning the lance, the dragon like creature above Fane. Trying to give it a black eye. <laughs> he did. I will move in on this son of a gun. Mm -hmm. 
I want to do the mm, precise strike. I took a pill for what I thought was a mozzarella stick, and it's a chicken stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, so advantage. We're good, right? 11 misses. A 26, not 20. Nice! And. Whoop. And that's it. Because of your precise strike, you also get an extra. That's what I'm checking. D8. You get an extra D8 um, on your precise strike as well, mate. So you smite. Oh. For a further eight, and then you <laughs> can roll another D8 for precise, which is another eight, just fucking exploding die from here. Just <laughs> anything else here? That is some fucking insane damage. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's uh, Paladins, that's it right? Paladins are nuts. I will move it up to Brawl. Oh yeah, sixteen. Uh, Brawl, single man. Oh my god, what's happening? Uh, alright. Can I cast Favorite Four on the Star Woman? Oh, man. You just, you just declared you'll need to cast it because it's not a spell. It's just a yeah. feature. Oh, okay. Doesn't it not give a additional D6 or something, though? D4, I think. I don't roll it. Oh, I can click it and see if it rolls. Ah, think favorite it, Four is going to bust it... off. Yes, you're going to get an extra D4. Don't worry, I got you. I think it levels up with levels like a bard's bardic inspiration favorite four uh, at six level it becomes one d6 right now you've got an additional d4 so if you hit you're going to do an additional d4 damage i believe all right see i know my my shit <laughs> no you don't don't you fucking lie to me <laughs> hey, 14 will mess i'm afraid my friend all right that's it you do have two attacks your extra attack oh. here lets you do it oh, oh. i rolled that privately your extra attack here lets you do two attacks now. So you'll always have two attacks. 22 for oh, 9 nice. is going to do it though. Um, Plus a d4. Six. Yeah, favourite foe should be coming up with something because it is a concentration thing apparently. But yeah, uh, you've not been hit so roll an yeah, extra for d4. One minute. Roll an extra d4 for the uh, additional damage. <laughs> I mean, 11 is better than nothing, my friend. Hmm. Did anyone else return? No, that's it. You'll go. Thank you, sorry. Watch me get a bit fat here, but... Uh, uh, good gal, Bryn. Good thing, gal. Uh, she will... Hmm. Being a paladin is hard. Especially being a support paladin today. Um, two arrows to the dragon because I don't know, she likes Fane. Uh, one hit for four. And then speedily, Lumbo back over to our officer friend twirling the lance once more. He does. We'll fire both on towards yourself there, Renard, as you are there. Just completely messes. This guy's got, like, stupid hit points and shit hit. Melanor. I will fire a firebolt at the guy. Oh, yeah? Renard. 22 for 11 will hit. You're gonna... And he... He takes it like a bitch. Okay, so he's not resistant or immune to it. Good to know. He's baking. And I'm gonna <laughs> stay where I am. <laughs> I'm gonna stay where I am. Exodus, are you back? He's not. No. Shit. My rogue is not best. Let's see the other range. Uh, hmm. Right, that's bonus action dashing. Fuck that. Um. Oh, well, he's not here, so just watch as he drops the little dagger in the ground. We're pulling out a short bow and 
trying to assist Fane because dragon, you know. What do the arrow do? Woo! Up and over. We're picking back up his weapon. <clears throat> As it does. No, Eldritch Blast. He didn't take Eldritch Blast. Oh! I mean, what type, what? Of, type of fucking warlock doesn't take Eldritch Blast? Yeah. You watch as in its hands and its mouth vein, you feel the mouth tightening as you sort of burn up a little, a searing hot pain. Bidet. Bidet. Before the dragon. L. I should keep it that dragon L. <laughs> That's got plus that to him. Yeah. Does you want to see him start whipping you around? As it does, uh. watch it just throws you, lets you go. As it does, clearly trying to aim you at Renard, just <laughs> and throws you towards the ground. Uh, slow fall. Reaction. You still you know, come down prone and such, but you are no longer 40 foot in the air. Nor restrained. Pick the worst person to do that with as well, but you know. And <laughs> At least he has yeah. um, five to extra, five extra HP. Do you come prone? Lying there, see. Dragon L seems to fly up any further off into the distance, up and up and up. Finn? Yes? You're Still alive there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I don't, I didn't know. Um... I don't pay attention. <laughs> so since I'm here now, hey guy. Um, can I disarm him? Hmm. Do you have a feature for it? No, you actually told me it was an action that we yeah, can do. No, yeah, it's an action. If you have a feature for it, it's probably you can do it. You can go ahead and make uh, the action to do so. Can't remember where I put it. Give me a moment. Let me uh, look up the disarm action. I have it in Dragon. I have it in fucking Mad Mage as well, so don't worry. I think it's a contested check, if I'm honest, but. Mm hmm. And this is the Athletics? That's Mark. Disarm! Um, so. An attack roll contested by the creature's strength, Athletics. So. You basically make an attack roll, and then I roll uh, athletics or such against them. <clears throat> it, it has to be a weapon, correct? It can't be my uh, fist. It has to be a weapon, yeah. Okay, I got a, I got a thing somewhere in here. I think you got a dagger. Yeah, I think I have a dagger or a short sword or something like that. Yeah, there it is. I really hope it has my monk shit on it, but, <laughs> you know. A 20 will hit. So, I'm going to roll athletics against you. Is you going to bring in the short sword and such a way you watch as the lance seems to drop to the ground as he looks. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with a backspin. <laughs> 20 for 9 will hit as you. I'm a, what, is that like a backhanded roundhouse or like a, a backhand how you doing that he's got one hp mate <laughs> i hate it when this happens <laughs> this is gonna be a backhanded roundhouse is you it's like what? fuck a motherfucker up nice so proud he of you flies off down backwards sliding giant lance on the ground body away i'm assuming dead because you didn't see otherwise um, yeah, dead. Uh, I'm gonna say, you get anything else you can do with your turn? 
Um, no, that's all. Fair. Alright, you watch the dragon owl flying off into the skies, feeling just a bit scorned that Fane just fucked up the guy you worked so hard on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know. That was payback. That, that, pay <laughs> that was payback for the hobgoblin. Fire a couple of crossbow bolts at him as he flies away. Mm. Yeah, 100, 100 and, well, let's see, 110 feet, what the hell. Uh, I really hope, I really hope he understands this, but Thane's gonna yell out, What, are you afraid of a couple of humans in Draconic? Understand, he can't hit. speak. Yeah, well, 17 hits, yeah. Ooh, um, if it could. I'm not sure if it understands it or not. I'm gonna just work your number of 110, but also be safe. Uh, 101, so you were actually over. Uh, but yeah, um. Oh, that 17 needs to be at disadvantage, because you're going over the 80 feet. Hmm. Remains a hit. As you psh, clocked it, and you're going to hear it screaming out in the air. So, <laughs> did I know if you're talking uh, nope. Well, pick up the two weapons I threw earlier that couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Oh, yeah, no, that was easy enough there in that area. Morales, some hundred foot up in the air. You watching this thing? It's taking off and taking off. Renard hit once or missed both times? He Sorry. hit once. Hit one. Okay, hits. Misses. Uh, I guess I'll just take a shot. I'm gonna try and hit it with my bow. Hmm. 19 for 8 hits. And then I have another one, don't I? Yep. Nope. Misses. Ratio is positive, mate. Ratio is positive. Right, yeah. Then announce your turn? Yeah. Yeah. Bren will move on up. Gonna sliding, I don't know. Bren does like a power slide or something. Something like proper metal. <laughs> A 22 for 4 uh, will hit, however, our 15 will miss. And also, pss, up in the air once more. Melanor. Um, I actually asked ChatGPT if I can do this. Alright, great. So Don't gonna... ask AI. Ask me. I'm the DM. Okay, I would like to send the Chaos Bolt up at the dragon. As in, fire a Chaos Bolt up to it? Yep. What's the range on Chaos Hundred... Bolt? 120 feet. Okay. Um, so you are. I like. I don't know and... if this is correct, but I, I think I, like I'm just putting the copy in general. So you are 55, but ba ba ba. If I go like this. Look at five. If I'm 50. You are 114.1 foot away from it when you bust in Pythagoras. So I can actually hit it. Yay! And I'm gonna cast it at second level. Thirteen. Mm, I'm gonna miss. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um. I was gonna and I'm gonna you. use and I'm gonna use um, two of my sorcery points for a quicken spell and fire a firebolt at head. Mm -hmm. Come on. Pardon me? Firebolt. For some reason it's starting to lag a bit for me. So I mean, you're gonna get that hit. Fire this up. You watch it. Watch this. Baralis. Finn. Renard. He's watching the Shadowless Dragon. L. <laughs> Seems to be expanding. Oh shit. Before just. What? Fucking viscera. It had 11 health. Oh! The viscera of all of this. The dragon L just. Oh. 
straight to the ground. Okay. Gone. And as it were, you hear all manner of voices from within. <laughs> However, you know that this is no longer a stealth mission. <laughs> Everyone in there what is going to be very much on edge. But the dragon threat sure as hell is gone. Yay. Well, Finn's just gonna take a deep breath and uh, lean over, holding himself where the dragon's teeth pressed into him. Mm. I'll do a little lay on hands with Fane. Remember, Before you do have it. potions. I did you give me potions? I gave everyone a. You've like, not been, it's not I your have... physical sheet, but if you want to use it, uh, two d four plus four. Yeah, I have have like five yeah, giving potions on my on my cell that I gave like I gave four away. Who did you give them to? Um, everyone but Bryn, I guess. Okay, so Fane has his own potion. He can drink mm -hmm. it himself. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should have told me. We need to move before they get to organize a resistance inside if they haven't already. Suppose the south gate's still open. Uh, plus four, so eight. I'll put that on you just a minute. Um, Thank you. You haven't heard it close, however. There was also the explosion of the dragon now. And the fight, so you're not entirely sure. Oh, all right. I'm gonna pick up this guy's lance. That's cool. I will say, <laughs> as I'm within all of this, um, the time you've spent fighting inside this wall, you reckon you could, with some degree of difficulty, given that it's still a wall, scale it. Sans equipment. Hmm. Let's just do this. Let's go over here and just misty step to the top. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna drop the lance to you. This is the second time that Jalen has managed to get a lance. Yes. Yeah, I found the dragon lance, guys. <laughs> we we, we <laughs> finally. <laughs> We, we finally have a chance. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I deleted your token by accident, Brendo. There we go. Um, it's 1d10 plus mod. Um, oh, I've lost you all. That's right. Now you can't see over the wall, it's all. Is you. I can't see through the crenellations of the wall. If I'm up here, I should be able to see down. It's just because of how the wall is, okay? Uh, There's everyone there. I'll make it, uh, at this point now that you are there, I'll say that your site restriction is none. Yeah, I'm gonna wait yeah, till right. he opens the gate for us. Hmm. Hmm. Open gate. I will say, as you are on this here, I'm gonna need a stealth check before you go any further there, Bernard. I oh, know, you're strong, boy. <laughs> yep. Action, uh, 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 I'll, uh, Walk I'll through. say that there. Yeah. As you walk through the crenellations of all of this. Trying your hardest. You see, to the north, a gate. A door. To the south, another door. A shattered barn lies over here. In it, you see all manner of dead beasts. You can assume, horse. And here, a small roof. Uh, I don't think Exodus is back, unfortunately. Great, I now need to play two people. Oh. Let's get the gate open so the rest can go around to the south. We'll go open the gate. Yeah. Two people who cannot miss this step make their way 
Nor yeah, I'm going to go face that up as well. Just, I realize uh, I'm describing shit, and there's shit here that I could be doing, yeah. <clears throat> I will see here as you are moving on to this small set of stairs. Down and down. Boom, boom. I'm going to do a quick pause to read. This courtyard seems to hold several smaller structures, a wooden roof, stairs climbing from dirt to the west and east battlements. To the... What Can I help you? The north and south, there are two... Can I help you? Gates. <clears throat> As you turn, you can kinda make out someone. Melano, you, you you would essentially see what uh, Renard sees there. You know, his potential mm -hmm. of seeing. In front of you, Renard, you do also see a small building, a door with small plumes of smoke coming forth. Okay. I'm gonna move towards the gate. Not running. Pause still. You oh, can't do it. You watch as to the north there is a set of gate controls. <clears throat> it's as you watch as the man looking. Intruders! As you're gonna hear this chorus of shh of armor turning. Um it's gonna be one of those sessions, ain't it? Initiative, please. I mean, sure. There's there's more here than you can see. Oh, I had it roll six. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a fucking five this time. Oh. Fuck me. Solid ten on the decks. Yeah. Let's see, hopefully Exodus does quite well. Maybe Bren? Cool. And let's check in. Yep. Brawls is up there as well. As you are all, I ain't gonna like put on combat music. It's gonna be like one of those really fun ones. As you hear sounds, I'll try. That gave me a number, didn't it? Yeah, it gave me a number here. Ah, <clears throat> uh, our good friend Bryn is gonna try and claim the wall here, the gate. <clears throat> she does, you just kind of hear this. <clears throat> she kind of drops herself down. Oh, should be one. Pixie. Small smattering of damage. Paralysis. Uh. That's a wall right next to me there. Um, yeah, but I would say you could jump down that. Like, it won't let you, but I will happily move you down it. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yep. You kind of trotting yourself down. So, yeah, you can take a small five bludgeoning damage from the 10 foot fall. Just gonna down on the stairs and looking through. How much? How much was that that I've used? Uh, that there is a 10 foot and you have an additional 10 foot because of your gloom stalker and this is also technically another first round of combat so you also have three attacks so mathematically mm -hmm. this is beneficial to you I love gloom stalker so how much up behind me yeah. so you technically have 30 foot of movement so when you move you can move at the yellows Fane wasn't even in initiative room. Can I? Okay, anyway, right. You can hit him, uh, he's there. Yep. Your plus one for 15 is still there as well. It will miss, unfortunately, but you still have two more attacks. <laughs> 22 for 9 will hit for 23 for 10. And 18 for 10. Fucking beautiful. You're gonna fire this or you're gonna. Here, send him. He's already. He already ain't looking good. Did I notice your turn? No, that's not. Oh, it's one of these guys. Right, yeah. He is next to Bryn, so he will take that two swing at our Bryn and will completely miss. Before it being this one here. <clears throat> he straight charges. Thing. Is 
Fade? Um, let me turn down this computer because it's ungodly. Um, Fade's gonna come around here. Yep. yep. And he's gonna he's gonna come. I would say could you jump down the stairs as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it collides with a wall if I do that though. I'll move you then. Okay, thank you. I'm just tracking my movement. He's just trying to look for a way to use 60 foot of movement, guys. Let's be honest. 5, 10, 15. Yep. Mm -hmm. 30. Hey, guy. And Fane's going to. All of them. Boom, 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 boom. Just great masses. Love it. Love it. When's up, you lose some friend? Did I announce your turn? Uh, no, that's all. Yo. Exodus. Do you not just love having to play other people's characters for them? No, he doesn't get over anyway. Melano. Did you walk your dog yet? Um, okay, I'm gonna move 10 feet over here. Wait, 55 feet over here so I can see them. Yep. Okay. Um, and I would like to cast Chaos Bolt at first level on this guy over here. And if it's like has to hit someone else, then I can choose the this one because he's, he's within 30 feet. Yep. Oh. All right, Chaos Bolt on this one here first and foremost all right yeah hear how this one reads so um <clears throat> making a rain spell attack against the target on a hit takes this 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 choose one of the d8s the number rolled and the die determines that so one of the d8s is a four for force if you roll the same mm -hmm. number on both d8s so it's force and fire damage on this guy. He comes in, you're gonna watch as he is wafted by it, he's gonna watch as the force comes in before expanding out. You're gonna watch his beard starts to singe and such. He's whoa. <laughs> he's not done good after that, let's be honest here. Just ruined that poor man's day. <laughs> Did I know it's your turn? <laughs> I'm gonna stay where I am. That's me. Too. This one here, um, give him something. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> You're gonna hear the sense of battle by the gates as young Bren is fighting her own battles. You watch this next one comes up to your silver Renard as he does double swords, and that one, and a fist. Renard! Nope. Yep. Alrighty. I'll take the guy that just came up and attack him a couple times. <laughs> and... oh, he's dead, man. He, he he died in that first one. He has two health. Well, then I'll hit this guy a second, the other guy with the second one. He is one dead. Killed. He had four health. <laughs> nice. Oh. The sweeping motions of Renard's longsword. We will here oh there they are i signal let's turn around and i point the two fingers at my eyes and i hold up the number three to let them know whatever they can figure out from that motion love it did it else your turn um how far is it to her brain i want to say sorry 25 25 Let's give her... Oh shit, Bren. Um... Heal the face on Bren. <clears throat> Bren saves. Shield the face plus two. Uh, so your weapon still magic was good. Bren has done all of her good saves. Uh, she gets plus two to her AC. Doking. Didn't answer your turn, Um... Cool. I'm gonna <laughs> step out again. Yep. Finish a little more 
movement to try to draw some of them away from her and yell at him. Yep, he just wants to step out. And I'd rather leave the soldier without realizing he's gonna. Oh, that's cool. I was actually on measure instead, so. Oh. This is gonna I'd... step out and see. What you see is what you see because you gave very specific instructions. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, on a rewatch, the one at the back here does seem to notice you, and as he does, yeah, puts the sword down to one side. He does take the runner's sprint at you, and in doing so, Pillsworth Javelin, which just straight up misses. Bren will do the Absolute nothing that Bryn does to the left, to the right. Uh, that one will hit. Watch as she starts going a bit. Too cool for Cocoa Puffs, shall we say? Ross. Okay. Huh? Why? The selected or assigned actor. Could be found. What are you trying to do? Just trying to hit him with the bow. Hmm. Uh, no such error for me. Is it because. Try again? There we go. There we go. Oh, good thing I rolled because. Oh, well, I failed the first time, so you go. Give me that lucky draw for nine. And now it's your turn. Yeah, actually, I see that. You've got another attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> and I complained that you spent too long, got too quickly going through the levels, and I'm already going to let you do it now. Yeah. Uh, for 11, you know, watch as the two go in. Um, no bueno. No bueno at all. Did anyone else your turn there, my friend? No, that's it. Cool. See. <clears throat> Soldier, well. Miss Bryn on both. Mm. Wait. Hey. Mm. Are you going to move out? You move in? You going to... Hit this one. He rolled it. 18 for 7 hits. And... Sir. Do you fucking mind? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> because he's dead when he shouldn't be dead. And he 10 misses and he 14 misses. Okay, he's dead. No, he's still alive. you only done 7 damage. Okay. Yeah, but... Morales did damage to him also, right? Yeah. He not enough more health, more health left than that. Right. <clears throat> I get that you're excited to fight because you're a monk and monks are fucking useless. But please wait. When I see it hits. <laughs> you even need one bam, thank you, man. He takes a okay. punch. He looks worse than he did when you showed up. Are you done anything else your turn? No. Cool. Exit is gonna. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I will do something with my turn. You're gonna move back here. Just looking for a way to use that sexy foot of movement. <laughs> and also the mobile fee that gives him no attack of opportunity or something. I'll find a way. Don't you worry. Mark my words, I will find a way. I will survive. <laughs> He's gonna watch his, his small set of hands are trying their hardest to climb the gate. And it's not a working melano. <laughs> okay. Um I'm gonna jump down here. And then make my way up here. That's ten thirty feet. 
and then I'm gonna target this one that I can see. And um, I guess there's I'm nothing gonna... there. I see a token. There used to be something there. He's not there anymore. Um, all three of them are down by the gate over here. Ah, okay. Try to use some from time to time. I guess I'll hold the moon fire t if I see anyone come close. Like... Okay. Done anything else? Mm -mm. Well, I have a dragon army soldier somewhere. Ah, he's there. Uh, Bryn has a 20 EC now. I need to remember that one. So I'm just winding my own work. Yep, it's yep, yep. G, that hits, that hits. Bernard! <clears throat> oh, just in time. Fails. Oh, alright. <laughs> <laughs> you still see two. Here. One against the guy to my left, the one against the guy in front of me. Yep. North and south. Here we go. Boom. Hits. Boom. He dies. Uh, he, he, he had less than seven anyway. This one here takes the brunt of He's going to swing in and down. But he is still just hanging on. Stubborn. Did I announce your turn? No, uh, that's it. Coo -coo -coo. <clears throat> Bryn, the screaming nut job that she is. Ah, oh, 19 for 10. Fuck me. Slices the fucker down. Nice. And you're just gonna hear from the back end of the fence. A uh, little help here. <laughs> from Exodus. <laughs> it's the best Exodus I could potentially do, alright? <laughs> oh, Brenda. You just open the gate. Rolls her eyes and. So it's cranking away the gates before. Mostly that's a tech though, so I'll just in here as well. It's Exodus stands, looks and goes, God's done a bit much. Uh, I'm going to stand here and keep watch. Gives Zola a wink. <clears throat> Is it where you stand in this outpost area? Looking around. Water all over. Doors all over. Lights flickering. Oh wait, is, is uh, it the end of combat? Oh no, okay. I, yeah, it's the end of combat. We need to clear the structure, make sure there's no other enemies in here, so we'll start. Let's go clockwise and start over here, to here, <clears throat> to here. We'll see. From and about here, there is a lot of debris around, and the roof is kind of burst through, as that is where your dragony friend has come from. Alright, well, that's ought to be easy. Go over here and open this door then. If you open this small little door, and here, let's see. Room containing some uh, barrels, food, water, and other supplies to sustain the outpost. It's a larder more than anything. Um, as you do take a little look around, it does seem odd. You can make a intelligence investigation check if you wish. <coughs> okay. Intelligence investigation or insight? Investigation. Oh, that's great. Minus one. <laughs> um, for the most part, I'm not too great. Most part somebody most else's is... supplies are used up. Um, some of them I'll are actually what. going off. I'll clear rooms. Everybody else can search them because I'm horrible at searching. <clears throat> <laughs> then you look upon this door. Rather nondescript cobbled building. The rather hefty wooden door in comparison to the rest. I give it a nice, uh, a nice push. As you push it in the door, roll initiative. <laughs> hey, buddy. 
kind of watches this figure who is hunched over a desk as you kind of push in the door turns once more the large lance in hand another guy with a lance Mm-hmm. They're pretty popular in Dragon Land. I mean, that's maybe that's why it's called Dragon Lands. <laughs> Land. <laughs> that's such a fucking shit joke. I'm so sorry. I mean, it checks out. I know why it's called Dragon Lands. <laughs> and funnily enough, it's because of lances. <sighs> oh, I hate myself. This is on ground level, so Exodus will get involved as well. <clears throat> Anybody else getting involved in Fane being Fane? <laughs> Holy mackerel! 19! Morales? Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you rolled high for a change. Yeah. Or is that an issue? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But then there's Morales. Gonna <laughs> so I'm even putting on combat music again. Morales, you're up. What's easy to do here? There's no meta gaming in this one. I will assume. Uh oh. Watch Fane get into his combat stance. He immediately watches. Exodus gets heavy. I don't have much. Uh, it's only thirty feet I have, right? No, nope, you combat session. Forty. So it's 40 foot you've got, so that'll take you to like here, I would say. That's gonna be some shape, right? Where about? Um essentially from where you were. Kinda of this line. Alright, okay. I will say you can see you can't you can see it, yeah. Um less than half cover, so yeah, straight rolls. Three straight moves. I guess I'll, I, I can try and have a go. <laughs> I'll try and have well, a go I'll as try. he fires off fucking that 20 for the first one. Nice. Still get two more. Uh, 14 will miss. Eight, eight will miss. You know what? Sometimes you gotta take the wins. You were so shocked at your success that you you just could yeah, I was just like, wow. together. The nat twenty has stunned the Boralus. Did anything else your turn? Uh, no, that's it. No, no. Yeah, I'll move twenty feet over here and so I can see it. And then I'll guess I'll. Let's see. What is that? I think I think, I think Jalen's hungry. Twenty-two four nine, is it? It's gonna hear noises from in the room. Bane, you notice that there is something between the cells. It's a rather excited thing. Do you announce your turn, Melano? Mm. Mm. Let me do another um, quickened spell. Or another firebolt. Um, yep. Yeah. I uh, think about that one misses those, you know. Yeah. Or going to hit the wall in the back. I think about one there. I might just turn a bonus action to an action. That doesn't make sense. But yeah. Uh, Do you announce your turn? Um, no. That's me. Mm. Bernard. Fane. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna move up. <coughs> this way. Yeah. Ew. Oh, I see someone. <laughs> I love the sound effect you just did. Yeah. <laughs> Speeding paladin. Yeah, let's try the crossbow with the fella. Yeah, yeah. Oh! oh. Nope. Ching, misfire, and <laughs> reload. Fuck. 17 for 7 will also miss, unfortunately. <clears throat> Tell Fane to. Nah. That's it. Uh, Dragon Army officer will 
immediately as he's going to watch the familiar spinning of the lance before immediately two in towards Fane. First one directed at his face while the second one comes in and straight down, both hitting 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 damage. Uh... I'm gonna silver barbs that. Which one? Because two attacks. The first one. Do you wanna add 22 back on it? You just wait a minute. Okay. Uh, you now take um, nine damage. And, I'm and I'll give uh, Fane the advantage. What in the world is silvery barbs? You just saved my life. Anytime. He will. Close the door. <laughs> Free object interaction, no opportunity of attack. He's a human. <laughs> Bryn will sprint up to she. She started. Uh, she can't really do much. She's concentrating on Barrels. Ben. Well, now that this door in front of me is. Closed. Move no, back. Kill. <clears throat> Did anyone else your turn? Mm, yeah, that's all for now. Exodus bonus action dash. We'll hold this action. Brass. Uh, I don't know. Should I, uh... Prepare an action, door? I'll open the door. Prepare actions, I'll move closer and mage hand open the door. If that will help, I don't know. Yeah, okay. That would need to be after Boralus' turn. <laughs> so, you can hold an action. That way, if the door opens and there's something behind it, you let loose the action you would have used here. Right, okay. Advanced D&D. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but none of that 80 shit. Then I'll move over Melano. Yeah, I'm gonna move 5 feet closer so I'm within 30 feet and try to mage hand the door open. It's uh, Empty. You do see the cells. This Exodus points into the room to indicate that the is deeper. Did I answer your turn? Mm. Mm, I guess not. This as well. Uh, even though Exodus is not here, uh, he points out this weird thing in the cells. This is a Bryn. <laughs> the hell is that? That is a Kender. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bryn is like fucking stoic, but that's a Kendar. Ew. <laughs> so we'll move it over to Renault. <laughs> oh. I just hear ew. Ew? Ew, yeah, I heard ew. I'm gonna go up there. Gonna, oh, let's burst in here. And yep. Well, since you come in, you do see the Kendar cheering on in the cells and you'd come in you'd see another man just sitting waiting yeah let's do this advantage and then do this non-lethal non-lethal 20 will hit roll a d8 1 13 total time. damage that's still good. Yeah. Could be worse. Could be 12. Ah, I could have done Divine Smite. Oh well. Then that's your turn? Yeah. And that's it. Is the Lanston armored gentleman, we'll see. He really takes to his lance with a almost power move of swinging with a left and right, trying to almost like walk it over into you with the back and back. Great misses. <clears throat> As 
Brain comes in hearing all manner of crazy things. Fucking battle accident. 17 will miss, and a 9 will miss. Bayon. <clears throat> Bayon. Bayon's gonna come in. Mm, if Was Fane invited? Tight mm, quarters. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Ah, uh, because it's friendlies, he can pass by you, so that's the thing. So if it's an enemy, is there an issue? Gonna move over here. And... Take that spot behind you. Now we're gonna, we're gonna do this nice and slow. Yep. 18 will hit. No, a miss, sorry. I mean, we know an 18 will miss. Ace. I'm not gonna dignify that with an answer. <laughs> that one hits. I'm assuming you're doing acid damage like you were seeing prior, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's all good. You're going to watch this with the armor starts to corrode away as you are firing the acidic slugs at them. And that last one is going to be this. There's temptation to say he uses a legendary reaction, but no. Uh, stunned. So incapacitated, and because of incapacitated, they can't take reactions. So no and reaction. And any other attack that he has until my next turn has advantage. Cool, cool, cool. Then we shall... Is there anything else? No, that's all. Well, it's getting pretty crowded in there. But <clears throat> Exodus is a rogue after all. Tights and fight spaces and all that jazz, and you watch this. Hey, I asked Exodus if he's going to attack. Please don't try to kill him. I want to ask some questions. Exodus gives a thumbs up. For immediately running his little sword in and missing. Wait, no, he's got advantage. He misses. Uh, 15 advantage was a full 14 rolled. Boralis. These are all piling into the small. Very clearly prison. Mm -hmm. uh, a little cramped in <laughs> Technically speaking, you can still hit. I know, right? Okay. I think it's only a, like over there's an oversized longbow you can get and that's disadvantage at certain points but you're good here you can't longbow the fuck okay 23 for 10 hits quit fish quit fish quit fish he has an advantage can't hover over that and get the cb crit okay one map no nope. You have another attack. Nope. A hold shift needed and bubble 22. No. You're going to see if you get any additional. I'm going to do the crit thing. Oh, the advantage thing. Uh, if you hover over the 22, see if you get advantage. Crit vision. Nothing extra. Just going to. And you watch his two arrows in his chest as he's standing there almost dazed. Did I announce your turn? No. That's it. No, no. Oh, I guess I'll make my way over here. I just, I just barely see the candor. Barely or... see the candor. That is, is the that the guy? That is the candor. Okay. Okay. Um. Can't do much. I'll just stay there holding. No, you, you the can next get in. You, you can get in. You can pass by. Hmm? You can pass by friendlies freely. You can get in. Yeah, but that's my thirty foot. Oh, my shit, I didn't realize. I mean, I could dash. I, I guess I can dash inside. If you get any bonus action spells, you can fire off. Do you? Um, really, no, all of your spells actions. are actions? Apart, or reactions? Yep. Yep. <sighs> Sorcerers, am I right, guys? Mm. Then I, will... I'm actually, I actually dashed inside. I'll throw over to Renard. All right, we want a prisoner, I guess, so I'll bring the pommel of my sword down on his skull. Mess. Mm. Yeah. 
you're going to watch as the shattering blow. So he just starts to rock back and forth for a moment before there is an unconscious thing here. And this is an alphabetical order. Hits the ground. Does the uh, net, does the crit, can the crit be, um, what's the, what's the word, not non killing? Yeah, you just have to state that the attack is non lethal when you do it. Okay. Did you well, work never. in this area? No. We'll see now. I'm up. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna take all of his armor off and then tie him up. Hawk tie him. <clears throat> we'll see now. She's already looking in this particular area. Where is he? In the northern cell there. A Calaman soldier. And in the southern cell there. E. Ender. <clears throat> so they all take a little look at you as you know, wondering what's going on. You see, guard seems to take a step back. Is this a rescue or is this a second takeover? What do you want it to be? Fort <laughs> I want this to be a bad dream that I wake up from any minute. Well, I'll wake up. We're liberating the fort for the forces of Calaman. We have a company following us. They should be here shortly. Hmm. We find the keys to the cells. I should be around here somewhere. Make an investigation check. Somebody else do it, please. <laughs> <laughs> My investigation is plus zero. I can guide you. Morales. I can guide someone. Since you are looking around, yeah. you do notate that <coughs> on the table, <coughs> there is a set of keys. And also a letter that was in the middle of being finally drafted when your party member kicked in the door. No, the keys are here. What's Take the letter them. say? I'm gonna go back. I'm out. Clear out the room a little. The <clears throat> letter essentially says Commander Vance's daily reports. We'll watch orders. And then there's nothing else there. He'd only just started drafting it. However, the envelope says Dragon High Master Consaldi Fire Eyes. Dragon High Master. Manser? Master. Master? Yeah. Consaldi master. Fire Eyes. Can you type it down, please? Because my internet's like breaking things up. Thank you. <clears throat> um, but I also go over to the cell and open up the keys. Do you open up the cell? The <clears throat> Soldier gonna takes a stepping out. Oh, he just shrunk his token somehow. As he does, kind of looks at you. Keep that away from me. You know, watches the Kender stands there, just looking bewildered at the statement. Where the guard leaves the area. Really, and now you're just not gonna stick to the fucking grid? Really? You think you're better than the grid? Stop thinking you're better than the grid, boy. There we go. So you can step someone out. This is when you open the next one as well. Yeah. Okay. Do the 
as you open it the kender this stands there oh thank you thank you kindly oh I don't know how long I've been there how long has it been what day is it you know what you're there shaking this off he's gonna looks up yeah extends his hand Elgo did you? Morales. He doesn't put his hands out. Hmm. Well, me myself. Well, he's not. I am. I am. Elgo Duck Ditcher. I am the world famous explorer and the voider of Phil. And. Well. Can I explore? Can I? Can I my, my, I'm just gonna, my, my, my free to go. Can I? Can I? Can I leave? Sure, you can go. Starts on. Watch the Kendra on her merry way. Um. It seems to run. You, you immediately notice. Not towards the gate. And her token is also doing this thing. And she's afraid a kinder's loose when a loot the place. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ready was it? Looks. Was it? Was it right whenever... Did we try to investigate, I mean, interrogate one of them before? Oh, we had. Did he kill himself? One of the prisoners is still out here. No, like the guy that we tried to interrogate before, he killed himself, correct? You mean the officer that we knocked unconscious? That's the one just now. I was asking if we've done this before. Try to interrogate one of them. I don't think so. Okay. Well, uh, uh, Scottish, that sleight of hand was for me hog tying him. Yep. Or just like binding his hands and feet. Uh, made sure to remove all armor. Yeah, yeah, he'll be. Unconscious for about two hours. Yeah, I'll just uh, sit him up on the chair and tie him there as well. I will say that within your two hours, there is also. I would say you could empty this place in two hours. Yeah, I'll uh, make sure I grab a marker as well and write an L on his forehead. <laughs> L plus ratio <laughs> plus Calaman. <laughs> okay, uh, time to search the castle. Yes. Out for the castle. We've got rooms to clear. Yeah. Well, it's pretty cool armor. I mean, uh, put that in my bag for later. This man <laughs> has managed to steal in the Kisa's plate armor. Most definitely. <laughs> Well, it's time wise, how are you? Uh, I'm okay for now, yeah. I was checking, do you need to like, leave early or such? Like, I say, I'd like, you know, nine o'clock ish. I'll probably have to go like half nine. Cool. You think so, I know? Mm -hmm. uh, what's next? Well, since you are. Looking here, Brawless, you come to a door, the chimney still puffing away, and you do feel a, a heat coming from the door. Given the proportions of what you can see of the building, it's a, either a very small building and potentially a very fierce fire. Renard? Yeah. Let uh, me open the door for you? Yeah. Okay, back off. 
you open the door, you you see someone with their back turned, little chef hat, and something tied at the back of their arm, and you can hear this. You can seem to be mixing something away as you kind of walk in and as you look as they're standing there, bowl in one hand and a salt and pepper shaker in the other. Uh, 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 you watch their face turns to dread. <laughs> Just taken prisoner. Yeah. Step forth. Well, I'll see. You watch. You just the salt and pepper shaker at the wall next to you, and see stand there with just the bowl, contemplating throwing the bowl at you. I'm, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to tie you up. So just comply, will you? Swear? Huh? Swear? Swear I'm walking swear. out here live. Swear. Roll the appropriate check. Persuasion or deception. He looks and you watch as he slowly starts to just put the bowl down. Yeah, brings his hand up. He's not break those and points towards the salt and pepper shakers at your feet. The ones he just threw? <laughs> they are heavy metal. They did make a thud as they hit. Hitler's back. Hello. Yeah, I won't interrupt, just for now. You missed the face. <laughs> yeah, no, I kind of had no choice, but uh, uh, no, I definitely didn't want to miss the epic dragon fight as soon as I got my shiny weapon. He missed it. Yeah. Is he gonna watch if he places his hands out, wrists over each other towards the paralysis? Any, any day now. Time up. Uh, I'm gonna uh, grab his salt and pepper shakers. He seemed attached to these. Uh, can I use the vault, but I already have the time. Yeah. Yeah, just roll a slight hand check. Hello. You can have eyes, hands together. Why are you taking me? Uh, over to the cells where everyone else is. Please tell oh. me the Kenda's not there. The who? Kenda. I don't know who that is, but if you see him, point him out. I'm on the Drag him on in the cell by Bryn. And Bryn then closes the door on him. Yeah, Renard, you get the salt and pepper shakers. Um, worth fifty gold. Oh, nice matching sets. Feel like Exodus. With Exodus? Fane. What about Exodus? Fane? Who, who's, who's usually the looter? Fane. Yeah. What? I have yet to do that. Uh, I did say I was going to search the castle. Uh, do I just uh, investigation the place? You're not in a castle. You're in a prison cell. There's a whole fort around you. Yeah, I meant to say... uh. Search this whole place. We didn't go in this door up here. Why not? See, that wouldn't exterior door. door. You said what? 
it's a door akin to the door that was down here as uh you can tell that is the outside door that's the outside door okay let's give me one little second there guys i'm just gonna burn Not bad. Hello, hi. So, welcome to uh, the interlude. Now, really quickly, I just need to say, there's a combat coming up, and there's a huge cut. Now, uh, very simply put, I got spell wrong. And how it popped on the screen, and how it was reading, I was like, this is it. And I'd managed to convince everyone, bar the person, this is how it went. And it wasn't until I whipped out the source book and read it, and realised that it was being portrayed wrong on Foundry. So yeah. Um, moral of the story, band booming blade. <laughs> but no, uh, I'm, it's a good maybe three minutes of an argument. It ends up screaming, so I'm just going to cut it out. It's going to be really jarring, but... Mm. I'm admitting to mistake mistakes, I'm just not showing you me making those mistakes. Uh, yeah. Apologies. And apologies also to Tipler, because I fucked up. And this is me admitting it, and I've admitted it in chat as well. Yeah. Hmm? Or an order for pain. Uh, these parts here are raised 10 foot, uh, 20 foot along with the walls. Yeah. We're back. Oh, hold on. Did the dragon get away or do we kill it? Who knows? Uh. Oh, that's a disturbing amount of note. There's two people are going to take a quick pause on there. Anybody doing anything good this weekend? Uh, I don't know yet. Yes. Wait, is it this weekend the D&D movie comes out? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, I guess, okay, that's we are. I'm gonna go and watch up some friends and we're doing a one shot. Do you need your character for that? Do you even no. go on a one shot level? Because I'm using my racist dwarf that I made. <laughs> he only uses a waffle iron and a shield. So that's a 1d4 improvised weapon. Well, it's a blunt weapon. I think it was a maul that we used, we said it was. I'm back. Alright. Bust it there, I guess I will have the Tipler here. Unless he's back. Okay. This I'm is, here. Bro, this is you. Head on up the stairs. Me. Building, you can hear some jeerings and such. And then you just look out in the courtyard from the other end, through the windows here. You can see the light seems to flicker every so often. Where did Baralis go? I'll go with him. Ah, uh, Baralis just went over here. <clears throat> Walls are great. Yeah. Alright, you want me to open the door? I'll open it. You get ready to go in. Okay. Don't tell me what you see. see anything? This hall lined with narrow windows runs along the fortification. Along the wall are racks of weapons and a horn hangs from a leather strap up north. As you see, the other end, standing in the light, staring at the door, 
as he paused recording. I require you to roll initiative. This would have been a lot more of a stealth mission had you passed the stealth checks. But assume everything is waiting for you at this point. Like, that is the world's safest assumption. Hey, there we go. Back to normal. <laughs> Five. Alright. Bren will hold yeah. with the prisoners. Should I move myself somewhere, or am I just staying here for now? Um, I would say, you, obviously, you're aware that this is going on. So you can roll into initiative right now and use some dashing and some bonus action dashing to get there. Okay. You see anybody else except him, Morales? No, it's just him. Alright. Just trying to see, I've got one of those out and I don't. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's do my rolls. Cool. Exodus, Melino, Baralis, Renard, uh, Fain. I'll roll Fain. Then, as we start, Exoda. I already wrote All right. Don't worry. I somehow know that there's trouble brewing across the castle. Uh, just to shout a gasp. Uh, All right, your weapon yeah. seems whistle. to just pull heavier immediately. Mm. All right, so he feels the, the, the weight of the weapon, and he gets the feeling that that means combat. And, but he, he looks around almost like it's some sort of a uh, sense of not seeing something in this immediate room. He sprints out. Um, this will get this will be fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think is that a bad guy or is he tied up? Yeah, tied. Uh, that guy there is a friend. They use let him out of the cells. All right, that was fifteen. So another fifteen here. And see, I do not know where to go next. Uh, uh yeah, walls fucked up. You can see uh, Renard and Baralis here by this door. Oh, that door? All right. Door up there. I will then use my bonus action to dash. And then my action to also dash. Ooh. Uh, and... Oh. I was going to do the site restriction to none for you on here, but should be this one. Site restriction is uh, none. There we go. Let's see what's going on. Future. Thank you. That, that'll be my turn. Okay. Let's start to hear the murmurings, mumbling. No, no. I'll make myself like over here for defeat. Yep. Can't see anything, so I'll just hold my action. Okay. I'm gonna put on some slightly more fun music now. Um, I'm, I'll guess I'll keep hold Moonfire. Until I see something move into my field of view. Hmm. No, no, make a perception check. Me? Okay. Yeah. Uh. You see a face at the window over here. Ooh. Uh. I. I wave my right hand to get attention. <laughs> I thought you were holding your action until you saw something. Oh yeah, never mind. I see, yeah, okay, so I saw so I saw a moon fire towards the guy in the, in yeah. the room. <laughs> Sorry, I was confused for a second. Like, you have track of all your friendlies, so... Yeah. 
Uh, let me spell book on fire. As you kind of watch as he jumps off, as you then hear a chorus of "Whoa!" before out the window comes flying right next to you, the javelin just misses. Um, would like to point out if that were not a disadvantage, I had a bit of crit. <laughs> Fane. Ooh. Do I know where all the unrest is coming from? You would have been able to see the javelin firing out, landing here, and everyone making their way to the stairs with relative ease. Okay. And I'm going to. Ah, uh, why not bonus action? I'm sorry. That's right. I'm just gonna use this to move a little bit more. Oops. Yeah, no, you know where I'm going. Hit, hit, hit exit, hit exit, hit escape. I hit escape? Yeah, because you're additional. Yeah, because you were about to do some weird shit. So yeah, where are you going now? You're using Step of the Wind? No, I'm just uh, using. What is it called? Dash? Dash, yeah. You said bonus action, though. No, that really requires. Mind. Huh. Yeah, that requires T. Key. I can just dash just to do this. I don't want to yeah. attack. I can just move here. I will quickly move you, so. And then. Up, oh, spooning you off the wall. Don't worry, got you there. And actually use 10 foot less. <laughs> There's nowhere that I can't move. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's all. You, Brallus. You see it in front of you. It's there in the broad daylight. Alright. Stop shit. It's alright, you get two more. You got one more? Hey. Yeah. 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 He does. Start hearing a small chorus of footsteps coming from at the west. I was about to say east, but also say west. Duh. Melano, you watch. It's from out from whence you are. You hear yeah, everyone hears this of the door being burst in. So as Melano, you watch this thing wings unfurls. It comes down into the courtyard, standing there with the short sword. Mm. Renard. Well. Well. Move. Right up here. Come on. It's the fucking doors. Doors. You kidding? Target this son of a gun. And take a couple swipes. Yep. Uh. Mm. Oh baby. Oh yeah. See so seven plus one, so twenty-one hits for that. That is you gonna bring it in once more, splitting down. You watch. As it does. Nice. I need both of you to make me constitution saving throws, please. Morales and Renard. Renard, you're good. Morales. You're also good as you watch this thing. Like, and turn to a fine mist on the floor. I put it on the 1230. What was that? I talked to my wife, sorry. Ah. I have a general. 
Did another switch on there, my guy. I'll see no you do that. Move things along. Exodus. Um, yeah. I'm going to move in. Yeah. I was going to move up. Oh, you go. I moved 10, right? No, yep. I just said it's not. Oops, too far. Uh, that's right. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't. I didn't see what was going on in the courtyard. That's right. That's putting everything this start. Moving things and okay, gonna jump an exodus. So All right. Uh, big pain. question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how long has it been since I started my hex? Has it been over an hour in character? No, because uh, Bren also still has her thing. All right. Then I will bonus action switch it on over. I will move uh, the 20 feet to get up next to this bad guy. Yeah, yeah. I will uh, attack him with Booming Blade. I let me. I don't know if this is the macro for Booming Blade. I never created a macro for if this. If you click uh, the Booming Blade spell, it should do it. Oh, okay. So first is attack. Just, just, um, just the Booming. That's that's all. You however, however, technically speaking. Um, if you notice, the damage here can actually be better than your Booming Blade, I think. Let me check. I may actually what? need to fix your Booming Blade. Uh -huh. uh, booming Blade... One D, uh, your Booming Blade is 1d8, your dagger is 2d4. So, hello, hi, let me save you a quick 7 minutes here, don't worry. Essentially, Booming Blade reads wrong on Foundry, let me give you an example here. Um, as you can clearly see, Booming Blade is off here to the side. Now, here... It reads the exact spell, but then the damages come in and it does 15 thunder followed by 5 thunder, meaning you 13 to attack with the blade and then 2d8 thunder and then if they move they would then take another 1d8 thunder. That's how Foundry here has it, but that's obviously not how it goes. I've known that now that I've read the source books and such because I hate Tasha's. I'll always tell you I hate Tasha's. What it actually is, is you take a swipe with the sword or the blade, let's say it's a 1d6 plus mod, you do 1d6 plus mod damage, then if the target moves, they take 1d8 damage thunder, and that scales up, you know, 2d8 at 5th level and so on and so forth. So yeah, uh, that's where it is, that's where the issue stems from, and there was a huge 7 minute screaming match in regards to this. So I'm just going to make this uh, very simple for all of us here. As you can see, here is our nice little session marker. Seven minutes, that is almost eight. So let's just go ahead and delete that. Ripple delete in. I'll, I'll Enjoy just the move show. on. Please. Hit. It's damaged. Doing anything else for your turn? Yeah, no, I'll move back um, 10 feet. That's That's it. That's my turn. Then I'll move over here as it does. This door here will burst open as oh, a dragon shit. army shoulder. Dragon army soldier comes in on your back. Renard will. Oh, fuck me. Hold on. Well. Did he hit me? Oh, he. He hit you once. Once. It hits Four, me once here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hold up. Hold up. As, an action, as a reaction, I'm going to cast shield. Okay. Um, Gives me a plus 5. Nat 20. No. Nat 20. Always so hits. Still hit. um, okay. well, where's Renard? Where's Renard? I can't see it. You can't see Renard? You can't see the attack? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. As both come there. Uh, how much damage did he do? Uh, he done a total of... 9 plus 3 plus 17. 17 damage total. Okay. So. I still got plus 5 until my next turn in case yeah, any yeah. of these other assholes try to attack me. I gives you an effective AC of 24. Yeah. I ain't hitting you. <laughs> uh, Boralis. Uh, your AC 16, both miss. This one here. We'll come out and he will make a god honest attempt. Both will miss. Melanor. 
Yay! I would like to target the guy in front of me that yep. keeps harassing me. And I would like to cast Pasha's Mind Whip on him. Oh, this one. Uh... And then for minimum damage possible. <laughs> he fails. So, uh, let's see. 3d6 psychic damage. It can't take a reaction until its next turn. Moreover, on its next turn, it must choose to do one of the. Okay, so it fails to save. Do I announce your turn? Yeah, I would like to get away from him. Yep. Zoom. I'll move over here to the soldier to keep our combat moving fast. He'll do a thing, Finn. Uh, you're muted, mate. Jalen? Speed Sorry, I was muted. I was muted. That's it. There you go. Alright. I guess I'm, uh... I guess I'm going in here. Yep. Uh, this guy right here is lethal. Is, uh, fighting us. Hello! That's fun, isn't it? I didn't I didn't see those guys in there. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. We kept the door. Surprise, Surprise motherfucker. <laughs> um if I breathe fire in that room, There's will stuff catch on fire? I just want things to just catch on fire in there and just I'm just gonna close the door and hold it shut. I mean, you can breathe whatever you want. Uh, you're, you get to pick whether it's cone or line, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, nah, I'll just, I'll just hit this guy in front of me. Yeah, yeah. Nineteen for six will hit. A sixteen will miss. A seventeen will hit. Um. Okay, no. I'm just gonna call it that. Then I answer them. So you no, hit that's... once. Yeah, well, well, I hit yeah. twice. Missing proficiency on the backhand. That's on me. Oh, so yeah. that seventeen is at a fourteen, which misses. That took me a minute. Then. Once. Yes, you one hit, one miss. A one one hit, dos miss. Mm -hmm. However, about my slip up, you now know that you see. I don't know your turn. Mm -hmm. That's all. Come, yep. Uh, right, I'm going to switch to my dagger. Yep. So does that count as an action? Yeah. No, no. Uh, one free object interaction. Okay. Uh, go for him. A fifteen will miss. But you still get two attacks. Oh. Yeah, ten more for us. <laughs> the eighteen there also misses. Uh, why three attacks? Sorry. It's a dagger, so it's a light finesse weapon. So ah, you so can bonus, bonus action. action. Okay. But it loses the proficiency on there. Okay. Thank you. Is it there another turn? Um. Features. Where is it? Uh, can I cast Favored Foe on him? Yeah, uh, Special. It's the D4. I'll click it off and hopefully. Oh, yeah, yeah, we go. It actually came into chat this time for me. You need uh, to hit the thing for it to go off, though. Now the first time you done it, you did click it and it removed it, but it didn't post the chat, which was odd. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, the additional 1d4 on there. See, doing it now, your turn there, mate? No, oh, that's it. Cool, cool. Ah, uh, which, who, there we go. Rounds the corner, long sword in hand, takes two sweat. Like, it takes two, but I ain't no lie. <laughs> So, 
Running through. The Bash Raccoonie in here, well, put all that. Take a step. The bang, do you want to re-roll the D8 or take the five roll that was on there? Uh, I'll uh, re-roll the D8s. Yep. I think it's two D8, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it's two D8. Hold on. I need to put the slash. Give me second roll two D8. Twelve. <sighs> Dead. Dead. Nice. Burn blind. Boom. And... He's smashing in the corner. As you watch the guard at the back seems to be taken aback. Mm. Bernard. Oh, all right. Well, mm -hmm. we're in bad shape. I'll go for this guy in front of me. Both it. Did I answer them? Oh, let's see what I got here. Is there anything I can do to help myself? Oh, no, by all means, that 20, that 24 AC. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pet it ends after my turn. You don't even have the bonus action heal one, unfortunately. Mm -mm. Just like my favorite one. Oh, I got this one left, though. Yep. I'm going to add a bonus action. A misty step. How many times can you do that? Twice. Oh, it's your second level spell battle, and yeah. Yep, right there. He's gonna He's not surrounded. Come back. Did I ask for time? That's it. Mm. Sorry, Fane. <laughs> That's right. Kind of left it hanging. Mm. Exodus in the middle of this courtyard. One boom, you can hear the thrashing, flashing, and slashing from the building to your north. Hmm. Well, uh, I will rush in to join my comrades. Uh, you said straight north, or, um, but there is no like way up here. I have to go this way, right? Um, or is this say, like a? I would say it's an athletic check would get you up here, like an athletic check to climb with. It's twenty foot, but the book gives me a DC. I have a minus one athletics. However. I will run at it. I will attempt to. Actually, you... I'll, I'll back up my, my my compatriots. Fifteen, another fifteen that gets me there. Bam! Oh, that is walled. So yeah, we're gonna. Yep. Fifteen. Bonus dash. Yep. Five. Fifteen. The door. That's because the door's technically off kilter. Oh. So I'll move have... you in to, I'll say, a, get you in here? Uh. But no, uh, I could get you there. Uh, it'd be an extra five foot of movement though, because you have to move to the side, but... Well, I'll, I'll move to the, hold on, I'll just move. Uh, so how much did I move here? Five? Yeah. Six? No, hold on, five, ten. 15? Or is that 16? 15? Uh, that's put you at 50 foot, so it's saying you've got 10 foot left. However, that guy there is very much alive. Right. And then I will blade him. And I will click it this time, I swear to it. Is 
Is that the... Hold on. I didn't, I didn't have it set to a macro. Give me... I need to... Boom and blade. Macros. I don't even want to know. Forget it. They just drag it with the hot bar. 25. <laughs> well... Boom, boom, boom. Plus 44 plus 2? Yeah. Yep. Uh, 44 plus 2. Like, boom and blade is going to be absolutely fucking pointless here. Unless, no, even even if you roll minimum in all four of those d4, Booming Blade is pointless because he's dead. Yeah, I also... Dead, bro! Sneak... <laughs> Alright, and then that... An extra feet? Or you ten have, more feet, or five? You have ten foot of movement left according to the right. measure. I, I, I will move here, and that's my turn. Sure. Uh, I'm going to quickly remove this and this. And then... Oh, which one? There's so fucking many of them. Bane. Bane? Misses. Nice. Well, <laughs> swap around to the back. Making way for his friend. He's going to... Comes in. Pirouettes <laughs> into yourself and... Once more background. Melanol. Um, I'll move 40 feet over here. You know, you can see the there. door. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the door is open here, right? Yep. I'll send the fireball. Over. You, you can see. Here. So that's, you can only see here. And that seems really weird, but like, just from where you can see. Be here yeah. and then yeah. Then let me let you me. You can actually see the... there. Never mind. No, never mind. It's cool. You can see there because through there and the window. Take my moment. Um, this where shit's gonna get really fun because um, shit. It goes around corners. Where does it say it goes around corners? The fire spreads around corners. Yeah, second paragraph right there. Cool. So you one outside. 23 Dundo. Dundo. And I already killed him without check. Oh, he's actually alive. He, he was the only one that passed. Uh, so dun dun. One pass. Yep. So he only takes half damage. Did I ask your turn? Um, how many failed? Two. Two. Two, okay. And I, so I hit three. Cool. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Didn't realize she was going to do that. Just so glad I locked that door, else Fane would have been trouble. Speaking of Fane. 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 Um, <laughs> Fane. <laughs> Which one did I hit already? Hello, buddy. Don't run too far. Uh, oh, we're going to do Flurry of Blows. Oh, wait. Flurry of Blows has no uses available? It's Why is it going to It's burning your key, and it's having issues with the resources. Don't worry. Um, don't worry. Uh, you can take it. Uh, yeah. Because it's not counting keys, the resource is counting Flurry of Blows. So just, I know you're going to use it. Knock a key point off. Okay. Going down from three to two. And going to go one. Smacks. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. And then extra attack. Hit this guy right here. No. I'm wondering if I can stun him without hitting him. One sec. I'm wondering if it says on a hit or it says when I attack. Stunning strike, certain fifth level, you can improve the key when upon his body when you hit another creature. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's what, two for two? Three for two, actually. Three for four. Not bad, don't know, Sir no, that's all. Okay, I was going to quickly do some housekeeping. Uh, Boralis, uh, no, Exodus, you're not part of that housekeeping. 
<laughs> Bro got rid of me, taking off the trash. Dude just phases through a wall in front of you, it's like, what? My people. Hits. Is it still three? Yeah, uh, your only enhanced weapon is the bow and arrow. That one will just miss. That one there, even with her proficiency, will hit. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll end my turn, but I will have to dip. Yeah, that's alright, man. I'll I'll run you and I, kind of can sit in the I back. I haven't left you with much. Don't worry. So. I'll play about air ranger. <laughs> okay, right, well, right. I'll see you guys later. No more, mate. I'm going to see you. I'll post next session up later on and I'll let you know, okay? That's your mate. Alright, no worries. Jeez. Bye bye. Bye. This one here. Well, run on in. Bloodied and looking, will swipe the long sword at Fane, trying to drag across. Um, doesn't quite know his right from his left and scrapes against the wall, however. This one here, however, will uh, go ahead and... Fane, can I have a contested grapple? Yes, you can. Uh, where is it? There it is. Of course. <laughs> you grappled? You just don't write that. <laughs> Housekeeping with a dead body. Miller, you kind of watch, it's in the window. There seems to be a figure moving, but it can't quite, you know, you can eyeball that it's trying to maybe see you, but it is having troubles. Bernard. Mm. Oh, that's. Go here. One, one. Go. One, two. One, two. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't have to do that anymore because you told me how to do this. And whiff, whiff. <laughs> one, some, you lose some. Then I'll see you from again. Mm, no, I don't have it. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Roll over Exodus. Friendly grapple, they swing in a few swings here and a few swings there, and stuff happening. Tights and tight spaces. Yeah, so um, let me move five over just to see what's going on. Um, I can only hit the one guy, so I'm gonna uh, jam the blade at him. I don't want to place the macro temperate every time. I need to change that. Yeah, that eight does not hit. Straight flat. I nice. Take. Um, like I will it. bonus action disengage. Well, actually, no, I don't need to disengage. And then I'll just back up. I'll be right back. Uh, that's my turn, though. Okay, so that's why it's going to template. Cool. Uh, I'll move it to fire over. The guard here that you swung at first, Renard, he will take a swing at you before taking a swing at Boralus. The attack on Boralus hits. Gives Boralus a bit of pain, no enough. Um, I will move 10, oh, 20 feet, 30 feet. And then I guess I'll... I can teleport to anywhere I see, right? Yeah, but you cannot see in there as that's 20 foot high. Oh, that's 20 foot high. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was like... Never mind then. Can I move backwards? You, you could, like, I'd say if you move back five feet, you'd be able to go up there. It's like saying you move back five feet rather than, you know, just mm -hmm. 25, then you could face step up and take a five, five foot step forward. 
I step upwards. See small barracks and he bending this courtyard. I did say you can also get five foot through the door if you wished. Um, I still have five foot. Yeah, because just okay. Mechanically, I'll just. Oh, I was gonna move you through. Don't worry. Okay. That's me. Ben. Oh, uh, I'll hold my action. That was a bonus action. Yep. Hey, trying to get out of a grapple. Just roll another athletics, but that is technically your action. The only thing, the only thing that's happened is your speed is zero. Mm-hmm. He will. I'll hold mine, Sliver. Test. You ain't gonna believe it if I tell you, mate. I got out. No. No, he got a second that twenty. That's fine. <laughs> Dinner else your time? Nope, that's it. Alright. Boralis has a dagger in hand. I can actually remove the draconian stuff. Uh, Did I miss my turn? Nope, not yet. Uh, we're just going to run out 20 in the same. Uh, Boralis will take a swing, and a swing, and a swing. Man, all three miss. Dragon army soldier in front of you there. Bernard will take the longsword and try to swing, sticking it straight in at you. We'll miss for the flourish R22 for 9. On all three missed. Uh, Miss Renard, but 22 for 9 on Fane. He's going to you feel the burn run across. See one here as well. Take his long sword and try and stab it into your side. An almost brutal. Oh. So it stabs in. You feel the burn once more. And then because you're unconscious on this next one which was already a crit to begin with. Oh no! You oh, failed shit. two death saving throws. You just watch as he slumps to the ground. Who does? This was not my intention. Who I... fails two saving throws? Fane. Oh, he's unconscious, okay. You were unconscious in the part? I didn't realise how low that health was. What are you holding, out of curiosity? Um, mine sliver. Do watch I running out the door? Then Speedy Gonzalez stops as you into him. He failed. Okay. He failed. I'm trying to think what it does here. Uh, just. Just these next 24 from the next saving throw. Ah. Oh, well, sh I'm going to have to spend my turn doing something other than fighting. I can always let him die. So it's only a monk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to shit on monks. Uh, how many points you put into him? Play on hands for 20. Oh, fuck. Fiend, as you are slipping in and out, you feel that. As you are now lying there, unconscious. Mm. Not, not you're just lying there, you're not unconscious. You're also no longer restrained. Uh, pee 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 Did anyone else your turn there, Renard? That was an action. Can I split it up between two people? Uh, it's an action to usually on hands as a whole, it can't really be split. It's usually right. on one person. Nope, I don't think I have anything else I can do. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, then I will throw things over to Exodus. Alright, um... So obviously, um, gotta do something here. Oh, uh, actually, hold on. He he did lay on hands. All right, sorry, I didn't see that. So, didn't see. all right, he's good. I will uh, move on in. Another yep. five. I will once more booming blade. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. Do it. Forgot to click the thing. And um. nine. 
Oh, I will no. then. I will then once more back up five times. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. Cool. Dragon Army as well. He's watched as Bane has gone down as the hands of touch as he looks at yourself, Renard. One for the army. Well, she takes the sword once more and just start. Oh my fucking god, Fane. The <laughs> two necrocurse. Oh she no. Starts just stabbing down at Fane. Yeah, that first one's a fucking crit again. Hmm. The second one missed. I'm a. You know, sort of stabbing down at Fane. They are all menacing. This is, this is like bullying. Mm. The worst because swords are involved. <laughs> mm -hmm. Moonfire on the this one over here. Yep. He has minus d4 to saving throw. One roll of d4. Sure. Ooh. Fails. Yay. Passed it initially. <laughs> Lights <No>. out. <laughs> Five feet. The brim here on fire, burning away. Thirty feet. Trying. Can Going I for... free action open the door? It's an object interaction, and it's one free object. Okay. You open it. Fane lying on the ground, blood everywhere. Everyone, Cranberry and the sardines. Ah, oh, okay. I see you guys. Hello. Uh. <laughs> Don't announce your turn. That's me. Cool. For the first time ever, Fane is going to have a normal movement speed of 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crit didn't knock him down? Uh, he was prone, but it didn't kill him. Oh, pause. I'm still prone? Still prone. Uh, I'm going to get up. And that is my turn. Okay. That's but it. Alice. I don't think you can do anything. I don't think you can do anything else. It's just half can movement, right? Hit? You can still attack, right? You can still attack. You went just down, movement. Went down in last round. Different round. Oh, yes. Um, okay. Um, who can I... Guy on the side here, why not? Uh, I'm just gonna do. I just use my action, correct? What was that? I just use my action, correct? To stand up? No. No, that's huh? moving. No, that's I use move. Oh, I use movement. You have stand. attack, you have extra attack, you have bonus attack. Bonus okay. Attack you have you, all you, the attack. You, you, you fell. You fell in the last round. And we're resurrected this round. Like you, you fell in the last round, and we're resurrected in that round. And then this round came through, so your turn had already been when you fell. And mm -hmm. yeah, you're fine. We're gonna do one for him. No selected character. Okay, I'm only in control of one. There we go. Let's uh, let's get these guys. Um. Miss. Let's do that again. Miss. Flurry of blows. Let's do that again. Hits. And Breaks. extra attack. Let's do that again. And I'm assuming you're moving that down to the one below. 22% hits. Yep. House clearing. We'll move the dead body to the side just so that way I can see what's going on. So yeah. Did it. Did it. Now's your turn. Nope. That's all. Oh. Baralis will take his dagger. And will miss. He'll hit. That's a good fucking hit. He watches the one here. Immediately. My guy, when I say crumble, you crumble. He rolled max damage and minimum damage on a 25, by the way. That's. <laughs> Love to see it. And oh, then. Nice. Mm. Really couldn't go on here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's a dead body. Steps over the dead body. And we'll miss. That's this one here once more. We'll take his longsword. And he's watching everything. <sighs> well, 
the army. Plunging. Swinging once more. Wildly and frantically at Fane. Both missing. Thank God. It's a nap <laughs> one. Alright. Let's get him. Boop. Miss, miss. Shit. Did it? Yep, there another time. Nope, that's it. There were some fucking good rolls to him, mate. <laughs> Exodus. Alright, uh, uh, he would shout out, You can't just say, For the army multiple times. You can say <laughs> it once, And do something about it, Or you can shut the fuck up, And die already. <laughs> and then he goes I'm to, dead, And he got back up. Alright. Uh, I can't, I can stand in my, Area, I can stand someone's space and attack, right? But as long as I end there, to my knowledge. All right, I will move right where Fame is, and I'll attack. <laughs> yep. That sweet, sweet play. I do not want to place the measure template. Thank you. That's a nine. Um, I will then also back up. One and then back up two more, and then I get there, and that's my turn. Kill. Nineteen for thirteen. Ooh. Exodus. Oh. Silver barbs. No, you you don't get it. No, I do. You did not say bonus action disengage. We've been I don't over need this. to. Oh wait, no. I've swashbuckler. Yeah, swashbuckler. I, I'm mistaken. Oh, never swash mind then. Yep, Ignore I'm me. mistaken. Swashbuckler with his fucking mobile. Never mind. Brrrp. Kill, kill. It's on me. Did you just take damage? No, you didn't. Do it slower. I'm going to go over to Melano. Oh, I'm er very, I'm very close to him. So I'll. Uh, 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 let me see what I can do. I guess I'll. Moonfire him. That's us. No! That's a what? Fails. Fails. Uh, okay, cool. I took a moment. Did I know your time? Um. Fuck. No. Finn. This guy right here between me and Melina. I'm going to one. Hit. Two. Miss. Last. Miss. Okay. Anything else? That's all. Morales, cool. uh, with the dagger, gotta make sure I got the health numbers right. Miss. 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 Uh, 6, 11, and 17, minus 3 for proficiency. Mm. He knows what's good, unfortunately. And he knows what he's done. As he looks at you, Exodus, seething for, raises the sword high, the wings it. Swings wildly at Fane. The blood is pouring down his face. Misses. <laughs> Dart. Come on, hit him. Hits him. Dead. It's five health. You're going to bring that in and. Do you watch? See. Collapses to the ground. In a pit of blood. So, here's everyone's choice now. Call it here tonight, or finish the encampment. Your choice. Call it here. I'm exhausted. I'm good with that. Yep. Gives us a bit of time to run it next week. Um, yep. Yeah, so, and also the others can join. Gives me time to plan. 
No. Nope. We'll yeah. see this. <laughs> Party having fought hard. Oi. Taking part of the fort. A man unconscious in the cells. Another man happily tied up. A kender on the loose somewhere. And party are definitely a little weird odds. Whatever. The peace and quiet of this small little outpost is slowly but surely being destroyed. As the bedroom burns. And the tail of some dragon creature has yeah. been solidified, confirmed. As well as the name of a high dragon master. With only a quarter of this encampment been, however, next week things may be just a little more interesting. But we'll see.